Ahoy everyone, and welcome to part 4 of our Siberia 3 experience. Uh, we're off to a rough start with some technical difficulties, which I believe are all ironed out. It seems like you can all hear me, or I assume there would be comments telling me otherwise. Uh, the audio mix is different. Uh, probably better, but maybe more work for my editor, so you're welcome for that. Uh, one thing I want to do before we get too far into it is to... Uh, I want to adjust the audio because I have managed to increase the volume of my own microphone. So I'm going to notch these up. I'm just going to bump everything up one to counteract that because now the game's probably like a little quiet by comparison. I still want you guys to be able to hear it. Uh, once we've gone a little while, like please let me know if it, it seems like it's too quiet. This screen is always too loud because they've just mixed this badly. So the music is just way louder than it should be. Uh, save the changes. Um, let's get into the game. We're gonna do the recap from there because I wanted to make sure not to forget to do that. Uh, but I don't. Can I back out from here to the screen where like I don't have to um, listen to this? No, I can't do that. Great. Let's continue the game. We are in fact in a good position to do a recap in game, uh, due to the fact that we are outside of a place that actually doesn't have people on screen. You may recall from previous installments. Uh, that if we're ever on the screen with the character... Oh, it just it kicked us back to the cutscene. So the music just continues. It's like I didn't do anything at all. Which, funnily enough, is a really good place to start my recap. Because if you missed last week's episode, you missed virtually nothing. Um, what happened last time was that uh, we, we started in a position where all we had to do was get everyone on the boat and we could set sail and go to the radiated theme park and try and get the Yukos along their way. And what ended up happening was nothing other than me yelling at a toy boat for like three and a half hours. It was it was a rough time. Um, really, like story-wise, almost nothing happened. We did discover that once we finally did get everyone on the boat, uh, we still hadn't heard from the Yuko guide who was still at the hospital at the top of the mountain. Uh, and the... Uh, uh, grandfather clock the weird german man who uh doesn't actually have a german accent but likes to speak as to speak his dialogue as though he did uh he he's also incommunicado because he went to the hospital in order to, to my voice reattach listen uh, to the voice of a very or rather to friend. attach the new prosthetic leg that he needs you are the guide of your people he who shows his yukul brother this guy. the path of modernity and progress these archaic migrations that you persist in perpetuating. Oh, Cadius, I accept no levity regarding that puzzle of true despair. You must take your people back where they came from and have them settle down. Build real houses, schools, and factories. The nomadic life will no longer be possible in the world of tomorrow. Can we talk briefly about the fact that hypnosis doesn't work that way? Even people who acknowledge that hypnosis works, and, you know, it's sort of like a weird area uh, fraught with skepticism, but even people who believe in the ability of hypnosis to do things generally agree on the fact that hypnosis cannot make you do something that you would not... that, that you do not want to do. Like, you could use, like, hypnosis to be a bad influence on someone, to, like, make them eat more junk food or something, if they like junk food, but we're trying to be responsible about it. But you couldn't use hypnosis to just make you kill your spouse or something. Like, that's just not how actual hypnosis works. Not unless you're in, like, the X-Men universe or something. Uh, but as I was trying to say over the cutscene with the poorly mixed music, which maybe I should turn that down, let me, let me know what you guys think. I will try to keep an eye on that while I uh, continue my recap. Uh, so as I mentioned, we did not leave on the boat. The boat is still in dock. We did manage to get the Eagles onto the boat, but then they're like, hey... We still need our guide, we can't leave without our guide. And we're like, well, we sent Grandfather Clock up the hill, and he said he had everything taken care of. And for some dumb reason, we believed him, even though he's an incredibly useless and annoying character. So now we had to break into the uh, funicular station, which is a fancy way of saying angular trolley train station. And uh, after wedging wedges into a door to accomplish a, a task that really didn't need to be accomplished in any way, shape, or form, uh, we gained access to the funicular, drove ourselves to the top of the mountain, and we're about to break ourselves into the hospital. Now, if it sounds like uh, I'm missing recap from last week, you're, 
I mean, you, you just just go and watch it. Honestly, like nothing happened. Like there's just the game just screeched to a halt. We thought we were like right on the verge of some progress, and we were not at all. We were sorely mistaken. Um, now uh, we we are, as I said, we're about to infiltrate the hospital uh, that we escaped from in uh, in our first installment, and now there's some eye patch wearing Russian militant types uh, holed up in in uh, in the hospital along with the shady nurse who just tried to hypnotize our yukal guide. And uh, my expectation is that realistically, if I enter this building, I will be shot dead on sight or possibly uh, immediately captured and handed off to the uh, weirdly uh, biologically incongruous Nick Canton, the detective from the U.S. who is on our trail. Uh, I don't think there's really too much else to go over, but if you have any questions, chat and I can probably fill you in. Ah, welcome, Cat. And yes, Cat verifies what I was saying, which, like, hypnosis just doesn't... It doesn't, like, override what you are as a person. Like, they, they would be able to resist that. So if he didn't believe that nonsense about, like, you should build yukal schools, then, like, he wouldn't... That wouldn't change anything. A military device. Sarah was right. I think Sarah's, like, the granddaughter of the clockmaker. I don't know. Every, everyone from this town sucks. I hate this place personal experience have you been hypnotized cat they uh they had a hypnotist at our high school prom i think it's a feature of, of my high school usually book someone to do that um but i don't think i actually spoke to anyone who had the hypnosis done to them But I've heard various... Oh, God, don't tell me it's stealth now. See, look, like, the guards are right there. They're just, like, deliberately not looking at me. My God. Siberia really wants to have a stealth section now. That's and the worst. The American comes, Colonel, still there. If she's actually mad enough to try and save on. her no man. Wow, that was great. I'm glad everyone spoke all at once. I mean, that was partially because I tried to trigger the ob observation no, no button man. because I didn't know that they were going to start FMO, saying something really on. long. Um, Met a lot of people in my life as a soldier, Colonel. I've seen things. And, Sergeant? Dr. Efimova gives me the shivers. Indeed, Luckily, we still have soldier. our knife and me our too. shaman's beverage. Impossible. Nothing. I really hope that I, I have to, like, kill someone with my knife before all is said and done. <clears throat> Okay, that would be enough to get me caught. That is, that's a very loud, that's a very loud noise. That's a weird story about the belt hypnotist. I'm hypnotized in high school, senior party. I would, I would assume the belt would be taken away under those circumstances. Because he, he, that individual uh, had suddenly become dangerous to themselves, which is, you know, concerning. So, I guess we're not- are we not taking the front door, or are we stealing their helicopter? What? Like, I mean, I did manually leave there. It's possible there's some item I can a military use. Device. Sarah was right. Also, who calls a helicopter a military device? What- what person wouldn't just say a helicopter, or perhaps a military helicopter? But, like, you wouldn't just be like, my god, they have military technology. Like, no, that's like a normal thing. That'd be like, that'd be like saying, and instead of saying that they have guns, it's like, oh my god, they have, like, military ranged weapons. Like, no, they're guns. Like, that's just an everyday thing that people know what that is. If Kate Walk was an alien, wouldn't she be able to rewind time? I feel like we've learned this about things. So, I have to somehow get them away from the guard station. That's not right. Which doesn't make any no sense. No way. It doesn't work. There's not enough whales to rewind time. I don't know, we haven't been able to get our boat on the water. Maybe there are enough whales. 
Oh yeah, also, uh, at some point this week I was thinking about it, and it really bothered me that, like, uh, the captain, the ship captain's logbook is one of the documents we have that we've read through. And it makes this very specific mention that he put his, the, the keys to the ship in his pocket, as if that was, like, something important that we would need to know later. And then he proceeds to lose his keys, and I'm like, oh, well, it's in his jacket pocket. If he doesn't, if it's a different jacket, we need to just go find his jacket, and it's in the pocket. And that's, that's the puzzle. Is like, you needed to read and have reading comprehension, and then figure out where his jacket would be. And then, like, no, you had to do this weird thing with a boat, and then make a, an enlarged copy of the key, and then just cry yourself to sleep. It just didn't, it didn't make any sense. Jammed your left pointer finger. I'm sorry to hear that, Cap. What, were you doing something totally awesome? Like, uh, I don't know, flying some military technology or something? Like, honestly, like, what? I have no even vague idea of what they want me to do here. Can't leave while they're still there. As for taking them on... I mean, I didn't mind the actual, like, enlarging the key, but, like, the getting the thing out of the boat made me really annoyed. And I'll tell you why. Um, because, like, you know, I think someone was saying, like, early on when I was trying to do that puzzle, like, oh, it's, like, so obvious. Like, it says something about, like, think backwards and then, like, there's numbers. But, like, the numbers don't clearly correspond to the input device that you have. Uh, also, it doesn't really track your progress well like it's unclear as to whether you're resetting the progress or making progress but the thing that really bothered me about it is that like it, exactly what i was just saying is like it didn't actually involve like reading comprehension like in past siberia games there have been like weird pamphlets and stuff you've had to read that had little clues for future puzzles and it's like oh right that thing that i like read back in the library about like grapes or something and how this bird really likes those weird grapes like, that's fine, because, like, that puts it on the player, like, we gave you this object, and, like, clearly it was important and you hadn't used it for anything. It's just not a lock and key inventory puzzle. But this one was, like, literally just like, I don't know, we just wrote some numbers down. Figure out that you have to add two of them, and then figure out how to input things. It's dumb. Um... Yeah, I, I, I got... I don't... What? Can't leave while they're still there. As for taking them on... Man, I just, I, I don't know. Am I supposed to go back to the boat and, like, ask people how to get rid of the soldiers? Like, I, I don't have any items that do anything here. Push my hand, fingers first, towards a basketball. Ooh, yeah. I, did, I, I, I sprained a finger once from uh, attempting to hit a volleyball in a gym class. And then, as my mom said, I once needed to get uh, stitches when someone... Uh, we also volleyball in gym class, a uh, different year. Um, we had like volleyball nets sort of uh, hung up around the gym class uh, and they were they were hung up on these elastic like bungee cord type things with like hooks on the end of them. Uh, and some of them were metal hooks and some someone in my class thought it'd be really funny to just stretch one of those metal hook bearing bungee cords as far as they could and just let it go and see what happened and it cut into my hand and bled profusely and caused me to go to the emergency room uh so in my opinion it wasn't very funny your instructor termed it tiger claw on basketball i mean when you when you say it like that that sounds awesome um i feel like there's got to be something else up here at the top of the mountain that i can do Right? It feels insane for me to just get here and for her to be like, well, I guess I can't do anything. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around. Uh, you know, I think the earlier Siberia gate. Oh, okay. I see. See, personally, my assumption would be that someone is guarding this military technology and that going here would get me murdered or something. But sure, we can go with the, like, they're not guarding this at all actually know what I would want from here. Guess it's not this. Something in the helmet? That made a weird noise. Man, look at these physics. Is anyone else enjoying these physics? Ooh, physics. 
Why can't I have the grenade? You know, you know what would clear them out from that reception area real quick is this grenade. What if I just like pull the pin on the grenade? Can I, can I do that? Can I just run? I'm pretty sure it's this med kit or something in the med kit. Is it not? Oh, I'm actually pretty surprised by that. For some reason, this really stood out as like. I think I have like an interact while holding a thing button. No, I can I can just cancel being here. So what is the thing that I want? Usually, oh, it's the it's the walkie-talkie. Uh, okay. What is this thing here? It looks vaguely like a rocket launcher. Can I use that? That might also clear them from the reception area fairly quickly. Okay. Is, is that it? I guess that's it. Now, is that true? You are a first degree black belt in Taekwondo? That's pretty awesome. Is that something that you have to like recertify for? Or like once you once you pass that test, you just sort of continue to hold that title, right? Like you don't actually have to like register your hands as deadly weapons and thus like maintain a regular proficiency in that or whatever. Alright, so I'm thinking now that I have this like Chekhov's walkie talkie, I use it here. Even though it seems like a really bad idea to use this from inside the house. Well, she could have done that before. This is Dr. Olga Efimova. Oh, come on. Come in. Olga. Olga, you definitely don't sound like yourself. You sound like an American putting on a bad Russian accent. Over. What's wrong, Olga? Uh... Uh, I'm listening. Helmut thinks he saw the American lurking in the sick ward. I don't know what she's up to. You have to stop her as soon as you can. Is that Montauk, idiot? Sarkar, hey, really welcome sure. to the stream. I'm sure we would have seen Kate Walker enter the clinic. Colonel, uh, if you'd rather run the risk of letting that cow run free, it's up to you. I hope By way of answering your question, nothing, Olga, uh, everyone in this world is profoundly stupid. It's like, it's like, imagine that Siberia 3 takes place in an alternate universe, where not only do mammoths exist in the present day, um, just got a trophy for that, why not, um, but also, uh, just everyone is, like, hopelessly incapable. It's like, what, what, are, what's that thing from Sesame Street, the, the Tweedlebugs? Um, they're just, like, these really, really incompetent creatures who try to solve simple problems by just doing nonsense um can't okay the camera's being super helpful here we go okay we did it one of one of our greatest obstacles was just like a a direction sign impassable direction sign Okay, so we said that it went up to the sick ward we're assuming that she's in the sick ward so is our are we going into Olga's office again, then? Is that what we're doing? Oh, ooh, we get... Guys, cinematic. What on earth happened here? I don't know, that's a good question. I don't know why anyone would bother doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Vontag, it's something like that. <laughs> it's basically like... It's a, it's a parallel world where people are too stupid to have killed off mammoths. Although I, I believe in lore. Miss oh. Walker, come quickly. Oh, hey. My instinct was largely correct. This first person view is concerning. Dr. Zamiatine, but what's going on? What? what did they do? It's Olga. She has brought her soldier friends into the clinic. Just after Her Steiner soldier friends. Yes, I'm sure that's the arrangement. Then the soldiers wanted to stop them from leaving. Steiner refused to listen to them. He kicked up a fuss. So they worked him over. My friend had an attack. I don't think that's how Miss I would put that. Walker. 
my friend I'm had here, an attack, Mr. a Stunner. violent attack perpetrated you by someone else. Have to save young Kirk. <laughs> that woman. Kill witch Olga, with fire. She's a real monster, you know. Your enemy <laughs> Occupied by the humans from Wally. That That's a fair observation, Haggins. Protect the Yukols from those criminals. Make sure they get to their destination. You can count on me, Mr. Steiner. It's weird how, like, uh, one of the, like, perhaps the only, like, major new game mechanic they added to this game is, is that, wrong? like, Kate is supposed to be able to, like, think over her dialogue choices before making them. And it comes up, like, once every, like, 12 dialogue options. I don't know, I don't know what the point is. What do you intend to do, Dr. Zamiatine? I'll take care of my friend Steiner, of course. The poor man needs help. I'm thinking of hiding him in a secret passage until the soldiers have left. But you, Miss Walker... I think Walker, the soldiers know about the secret passage. Hurry and help young Kirk. My dear Miss Walker. Your medallion. The heart. You know, it's in very good condition. It contains a lot of essential data from an XZ-2000 automaton. Everything as it were. You understand on that The word important moment, was omitted, and it was in fact an important and word. intelligence were intermingled. So then, it wouldn't take all that much for you to get your friend Oscar back one day. I... Yes, Mr. Steiner. Of course. I'll remember. Feels like a very important thing for him to randomly tell us at this point in time. Also, I'm still sort of mad from previous games about how automatons do not work that way. XZ2000 automaton sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. It does, doesn't it? I believe you have to XZ summon it. I don't know what uh, rank it is, though. I guess there's nothing in here. Okay, cool. Oh, we did that much. So now, are we supposed to use the walkie-talkie again? Or break into Olga's office? I suppose break into is probably a liberal use of the terminology. Uh... Man, it is hard to get around things. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only person who just absolutely hates the clock man. Wait, why are you here now? That makes no sense. You're sp Why would they move you to here and then not guard you? The only way it makes sense for... Why he should be in his own hospital room. Where he's guarded. Why are the guards... Why? What? Why would, why would this be this way? This doesn't make any sense. And yes, I'm pretty sure the game wants to feel sorry for the clockmaker, but, like, I hate that Completely guy. I think I said last time I would try to get him killed if I could. Kirk? Listen to me, Kirk. You've got to snap out of it. I think we have to, like... Kirk. Can we, can we look at his chair? Can we just, like, turn off the device? Can we turn on her hilariously old-timey computer? There's stuck underneath. T t t okay. Got, we got a squid statue, but really I just wanted the note. I mean, I guess it's cool that we have a squid statue. We got to Okay. Note from Dr. Witch? And why do we have Steiner's prescription? It still makes oh, me mad. That banshee Olga took the time to tear up the code, of course. Why, why bother having it written in Russian, I wonder? Uh, she really bonded with him well in the ten minutes they were cellmates. I mean, he's also just an important mission objective, Haggis. Like, the thing that we're trying to do is get the Yukos to migrate to the place that they're supposed to migrate to. But for some reason, the literal only one of them who knows the way is this guy, Kirk. And so that's why he's important. So, like, it's not even that we, like, like him that much. Um, it's just important. We have to save him in particular. 
In accordance with your instructions, I have sent our young... I have sent you our young nomad patient. Why did they say that? This is so bizarre to me. This is not how you would do this. If you should happen to need to remove him from the mechanical therapeutic device, the code is omitted. Recommendations. None. Uh, okay. So now I need to find a torn piece of paper, more or less? Is that the idea? Because I don't know how I would guess the code since I don't even know what the input device is, since it won't let me look at him, presumably, until I have the code to get him out. Also seems like a weird way of doing business as a hospital. Okay. So... Doesn't want... I can't seem to use the escape tunnel... Cuck. Wait a minute. Is there another point of interaction here? Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Does that mean I just knife all these cables? Let's try something else. No, let's try that. That seems like a good thing to try. It could jam a statue Impossible. in it. No, it, it could definitely jam work. a statue in it. Um, beverage? No way. No, uh, the beverage is probably for him to make him get better or something. Okay, other points of interaction? Okay, we got something here. Ah, welcome to the stream, my sister. Weird way of saying that. I always, see, I always second guess myself. Uh, cause like, my sister just goes by her own actual name in her stream. But like, uh, you know, Tech and I started using the alias early on in the presumption that like something weird might happen, um, not knowing you know, how life was going to play out. So, like, I don't mind that my sister uses my name in her stream. I don't think I know her preference or have ever talked to her about it. We got a paperclip, guys! We did it! Success! So, is that... So, like, no... There's, there's no... There's no pertinent information on these... This medical chart here. It's, it's just the paperclip. We're all about that paperclip. Great. Well, sure. Why not? Uh, what else do we have here? We have his face where we could try to talk to him. How is, like, this, like, weird water bottle not a thing? Or, like, metronome thing? And, like, honest... So, like, here's another... Here's a situation similar to what we had last week where it was, like, we could easily just slide our way through the window and not have to, like, break a door off its hinges in order to get into the train station to get our way up to this building. But, like, so... We have, we have access to this enough to know that, like, disabling these gears stops the weird hypnotizing metronome. Uh, that seems like a great thing, right? We have a knife. We could cut these cables. Like, this isn't killing him or anything. We're holding it for a really long time. We know that stopping this motion doesn't do anything bad to him. So just cut the cables and we're done with it. Whatever thing it wants me to do feels arbitrary. Uh, cool. That makes so much more sense than cutting them with a knife. Um... Uh, missed this comment. Uh, okay, he fell asleep, I think? Or no? Oh, well, we have a new interaction point. Mysterious goo! What's no this? No point drugging Kirk even more. But what if I want to do that? Uh, can I have this? What? Uh, oh, got it. I think I got it. Oh god, we have to. We have to. Okay. Uh, so I need to. Oh, okay. I can just pour it in. I thought I was gonna have to like use the shaman's beverage and like inject or like stab the needle into it and whatever, whatever. Okay. So we got him some drink. Do I have to... There we go. God, that hey, seems like an awful lot hey, of beverage Parker, to inject into someone. What are you doing here? I'll explain later, Kirk. We have to get back to the tribe right away. They're waiting for us to cross the lake. 
I don't know, I feel like this game is its own kind of terrible that is a different kind of terrible from Dead Space 2. Uh, so I, I can't guess we... remove these restraints with just my hands. I mean, you could try first. You could give me control of the There's game again. There's a compartment again. down along the side of the bed. The staff handled it each time they released me. Okay, great. Is it the... It's this one. I feel like, again, the knife would solve... I feel like the knife solves most of the problems in this game. And it feels weird to me that I can't just solve the problems with the knife. Yeah, I'm gonna need him to tell me the code. Pretty sure. So, like... Hello. Maybe you could try to find something in the room, Kate Walker. Some clue or other. I mean, I can't do that because the game dictated that that wasn't a thing before. But sure, we could try again. Now that randomly... It's like, I, I have everything but the important part of the clue. I mean, I feel like I even see, like, what could be that torn piece of paper from the thing that's supposed to have the code on it just sitting in plain sight on the desk next to what appears to be a pencil. So, like, yeah, if I could just have that, that would be great. I mean, I would have assumed that the code is in here, but, like... Being an adventure game, all I have to work with are my points of interaction. Presently, I don't believe I have any that aren't already Kirk-related. And when I, well, when I looked at the, um... When I looked at his chart before, it wouldn't let me, like... It looks like it's signed murder. Which, you know, probably isn't something that your doctor should do. Um, and I can't... Like, there doesn't seem to be any useful information. Why do I still have Shaman's Beverage? Weird. Um, can I look at these things? From the looks of this mic, I bet the voice will be completely distorted. God, that, that, is, such a, that is such a contrived solution to that previous puzzle. Uh... Something weird with like the bottom of the statue where I could somehow take an etching of it and get the password. Like that seems completely insane, but like I don't know, this game is, is pretty bonkers, so I don't I don't know. The code is inside of it, Saw 7. Lol. Appreciate that in Grim Fandango Manny looks towards points of interaction. Agreed! And uh, I think I started saying before and perhaps didn't finish was that uh, I'm pretty sure at least Siberia 2 had what is like a sort of modern implementation on adventure games where there's like a key that you can hold down to make like points of interaction around the room like blink or highlight in some fashion. But as far as I can tell this game has no such thing. Which is a weird step down from game design just trying all the buttons in case you're wondering why the screen was freaking out a little bit uh, fun fact bonkers was a cartoon from late in the uh, Disney afternoon era of cartoons it was meant to be sort of a Roger Rabbit style thing where like a human cop was partnered with a cartoon to solve cartoon crimes it was a little insane So, like, I don't think I am coming across anything. I mean, like, if it's supposed to be, like, something drawn on one of the paintings or something, like, I can't get a close look at any of them, which seems problematic towards getting the code. Um, and, like, it won't let me interact with the knight armor or anything like that. Can I go talk to the other guy, maybe? I don't know why that would help, but... Maybe. Also, they definitely would have caught us by now. Like, not close. We would we would be, like, triple dead or whatever alleged fate awaits us. 
was trying to. God. Look at his mouth jiggle. That man is broken. I was trying to I'll talk to this guy. Steiner. You, go and save Kirk. Do you not happen to have the code? Or knowledge of how the thing works? Or anything? Elaborate, Cat. In what way... In what way would you gamify life by... Like, like to what end is, is this idea of yours? That's not what I was trying to do. I mean, it's gotta be in this room, right? It seems insane for it to be somewhere else. I mean, I figured asking the doctor might work, but he's just not willing to have a conversation with me. You really aren't gonna let me use the knife here? Maybe you could try to find something in the room, Kate Walker. Some clue or other. Don't waste your time with these restraints if you can't open them like that. Gamification as interpreted by companies. Here, have some points! Yes, that does seem to be correct. This webcomic I read about someone who gains the ability to turn everything in real life into video game. But, like, again, like, to what end? Like, do the experience points do something for his life or something? Um, I could just mash random numbers into it. Alright, I summoned the power of chat. Where have I not looked where there is possibly a clue? I'm gonna let you think that over, and I'm gonna explore the rest of this floor and see if, like, inexplicably, the code is, like, hidden somewhere else in the building. Or, wait a minute, why can I not use her computer this time? I used her computer last time. At least, like, pretend like it's locked or something. Because, like, this seems like information that might be on a computer. Or in a computer, even. Maybe if I just smash it on the floor, I'll get the information I need. Um, this is apparently an invisible dead end to the hallway. Is there anything at the far end of this hallway? I think not. So you can just turn everything that you do into a reward of experience points and use the experience points to, like, make yourself super powerful in a rather mundane way. Like, that still seems kind of broken. Camera's being very cooperative. Uh, okay, for real, though... Like, for really real? Like, I, I feel like I've swept this office pretty thoroughly, like, three times already. Uh, nowhere else on the floor seems to have anything. Does it have something to do with the statue? Like, what? Can I use the walkie-talkie? Can I, like, call them back and move them to a different part of the hospital so I can look for clues elsewhere? This travesty must weigh a ton. This travesty must weigh a ton. Must it? I mean, look, okay, let's look at the let's look at the weird note again. Oh, that banshee Olga took the time to tear up the code, of course. Smash share with statue. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Or like, just knife the restraints off or something. Like, honestly, like, why does she keep making everything so difficult? Some artificial game length lengthening nonsense. Failed experiment in min maxing. I feel like I would describe myself similarly. Alright. Dr. Mangaling, uh, psychiatrist, neurosurgeon, psychiatry. Date unknown. Uh, we sent the guy to her office and she's not here for reasons unknown. 
if we want to remove him from the device, the code is removed, redacted. And that's it. It's just, it's a torn corner. Like, the only clue I can imagine getting is just the answer by way of torn corner of note. Um, but... There is, there's no, there is no note. There is no note. And I could try punching in the other four digit number I have. And if that works, like, I don't know, I just give up on this game, probably. Because that shouldn't. But, like, I don't have an actual answer to the question. Is it 0509? Yeah. Oh, you didn't happen to see the code they used, did you? Answer it. It would have been hard from my perspective, Kate Walker. doesn't do anything. Suggested smashing the chair with the statue because the code got taken away, so you won't find it. Um, I mean, logically speaking, that would be true, but if we were living in a logical world, they wouldn't have moved the one person that we want to take away from the hospital to an unguarded room in an isolated area of the hospital. So, like, it's really kind of hard to get in the head of the game designer when, like, this plan on the enemy's part just doesn't make any sense. Um, but I mean, I agree with you. Oh, wait, guys, I, I got it. I doubt you'll find the code by chance, Kate Walker. Shh, don't tell me what to do, Kurt. All we gotta do is star six nine it, and then it'll give us the number and redial, right? Yeah, that's Maybe the you could try that. to find something in the room, Kate Walker. Some clue or other. I don't, I don't get it. Why is the thing going again? Mateo, welcome to the stream. It is an unfamiliar name. Uh, we are trying desperately to find clues that will help us unlock this... Uh, strange prison wheelchair device in Siberia 3. Use knife on Yuko guide. Avoid the inevitable situation where his hypnosis becomes a problem. Apologize to the Yukos and use the boat. I mean, I like where your head's at, because all I want to do is get on the boat and sail away. But they're not going to be too happy about that, I think. Uh, on the bright side, we would get ourselves a free prosthetic leg for a weirdly proportioned young man. Uh, have you tried turning it off and on again? I have literally tried that in the sense that, uh, I, I, tur I turned off this weird hypnosis pendulum device, and for some reason it turned back on. Uh, I don't think we have access to any power don't source. Don't waste your time with these restraints if you can't open them like that. But how do I know that I can't open them like that until I try jamming a knife in them? Is my question, that the game refuses to let me answer. Um... But, like, seriously, he's like, oh, why not look around for some clues? I have not seen so much as a single other interaction point since picking up the statue. Um, no need to apologize, Mateo. Uh, I speak a little bit of French, but probably not enough to to have a fluent conversation with you. It's It's been a, it's been a while. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, any interest is welcome. Uh... All my friends here in chat are good people. Uh, unfortunately, none of us is smart enough to figure out where the clue to this puzzle is. Did we miss something on the desk? I have spent a lot of time by that desk, man. Um... Okay, so Thorax, <laughs> I think we've reached the point of faffing where maybe you 
and check our friend the internet. Only because I really feel like I've exhausted walking around this room and looking for things. And unless anyone else in chat has an idea of something I've missed, I don't think I've missed anything. But it doesn't seem like leaving the office does any good. He seems to suggest that we should be in the office. But, uh... It's not helping any. We put the squid in the gears. Well, so, like, technically I've already solved the gears puzzle. The game just sort of visually forgot about it. Uh, I wrapped up these wires with a paperclip. Yeah, the animation is just broken really badly now. Um, but yeah, that was to stop the hypnosis pendulum, which we have technically done. Again, the game just sort of forgot that we did it. Because, well, let's be honest, Siberia isn't exactly well known for being terribly well programmed. Can you kill the squid to make ink to dampen his punch? Uh, we've done that one already, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad some level of entertainment can be gleaned from this situation where I'm just like, I'm just talking to fill the void. I think I'm clever enough to solve adventure games on the fly and am very wrong about it. Walkthroughs I have found are garbage. I am unsurprised to hear this, Haggis. See, I know enough French to know what my sister just said. <laughs> but hey, the next best... <laughs> Catching, I like where your head's at. Um, I mean, I think our next best weapon... Well, I suppose it goes... Like, knife is probably best, with statuette being a close second. Then probably walkie-talkie. Although, like, that's kind of sensitive, so we don't necessarily want to break it. Followed by Oscar's heart, which is very sensitive, and we definitely don't want to break it. Uh, I'm sorry, it scrolled. I missed it. The clue was... Uh... Something to be used to, to free him. C could you please just repeat it? I apologize. Uh, am, am, am I meant to just bludgeon him with the statue? Is that is that the idea? Can I just uh, knife him a question? We can't seem to use any items on this. this. This feels vaguely troubling. And the fact that we can open this panel also seems troubling. Second best improvised weapon. Second best improvised weapon. But I, I checked it already. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Please hold. Because, I mean, we, we saw me looking at this, right? So she says, like, God, it must, must, weigh a ton. Weigh, it must weigh a ton. And then... Like, I was, like, looking at the... I was, like, looking at the base of it before, trying to, like, figure out if somehow there was an imprint of it. And unless I'm mistaken, I don't see it. Like, it's weird because, like, the light is not consistent. This travesty must weigh a ton. And it doesn't seem like I can zoom in on it at all. Ugh, this game makes me feel so stupid, but, like, not in a justified fashion. Destroy the number pad rather than the restraints. Maybe? God, does that work? If that works, I think I'm going to be mad about it. Let's find out. Wow, I hate this game. This game is a steaming pile of crap. <laughs> And again, I would I would complain about the signaling there, where his hint to you is like, maybe look around for some clues, and the clue is smash it with a hammer, like, like just just signal me correctly. Be like, oh, like, uh, like have my character be like, well, she took the clue with her, and then he's like, well, maybe there's another way to do it, right? Because then that tells me I shouldn't be looking for clues. That tells me I should be looking for an alternate solution. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, no, that right there, that's my last straw. I officially no longer have respect for this game. 
yeah, maybe just keep the walkthrough open the way this game has been progressing. I don't want to rely on the walkthrough, but I also don't want us to not get on the boat. And if she thought this wasn't going to happen, she's dumber than I thought she was. Kirk, run, she says to the person with a new prosthetic leg he's never stood on before. That seems reasonable. Are they not following us? Okay, they are following us. They're just really bad at their job. This all seems unbelievably convenient. Thank you for coming back for me, Kate Walker. Did you see how fast I can run on my new leg? I mean, it honestly wasn't yes. at the top of my to-do list to notice that, but... Yeah, I guess that's cool and all. Yeah, they definitely would have caught us if they ran. They, like, waited and then walked really slowly after us. Oh, that's problematic. Quickly, use the knife somehow. But like, okay, also, if our if if the solution to that puzzle has nothing to do with actually entering a code, why can I not use the knife to cut the restraints off? Talking to a girl and she mentioned how she loves Chopin. Thanks for Turno Sonata was able to impress her. What? Arcadius, this is the best thing I've ever heard! Oh, guys, we found another way into the funicular station. It's that wall now. Guys, we're on the boat! I literally never thought we'd be on the boat! Oh god. Grandfather, oh yeah, your grandpa's dead or whatever, I don't now? care. Your grandfather had another attack on the freight. But Dr. Samiatine stabilized him and is looking after him. He's got a good chance. This of music makes a sure something else. It's not the thing I want it to be, which is good. It's something else than that. I have to go, Sarah. Thanks for everything you and your grandfather have done for us. Also, I'm not entirely sure what we did on the funicular, but I'm so far beyond caring that I'm just like Great, they didn't catch us. Thank you, Sarah. Goodbye, Kate Walker. Why would she not be, like, mad at us or something? We, like, basically almost got her grandfather killed twice, sort of. Oh, that face, though. And seriously, you what does it matter to them? That woman, Dr. Olga Anthemova. Why is everyone saying her full name? She's not the main character. I doubt this is a weird response to that. I have a lot of complaints. Wait, didn't the captain say he wouldn't leave at night because that's when the monster eats? Indeed. And we are going to change the rules as well. But like for real, I have a serious problem with like what why why is everyone so mad about these yukles? If they let the Yukols go, then they don't have to deal with the Yukols. Like, their whole- the town's whole thing is that they're racist against them. So, like, letting them go, it seems to solve their problem. I just- I don't understand what the problem is. But I swear he said he wouldn't sail at night. And I'm pretty sure that was like a medium-sized plot point near the end of the last stream we did. Can I think? No, I can't. Alcohol at the helm. Uh, sup. Is something wrong, Captain? What this all the is time going it took to suck. Say that awesome. Young cripple. Now we're in the middle of the Lake Spirit's territory. And now it is dinner time. Well, at Captain, least he's so upset about it, but I can't imagine why he would leave. That so -called it's him! It's the Lake Monster! Oh my god! Yeah, maybe he's the right amount of drunk. Look That's outside. a fair point. 
Although, like, he seems like he's always... Oh, I see. Seems like he's always pretty much drunk. I think we established that also in a previous live stream that I don't think you were around for. <laughs> Thorax, you don't have to look ahead to know that this is going to suck. Yeah, I've put us on a bad path by choosing Siberia 3, haven't I? far too much time. We'd be better off trying to use the crystal's breakers to get through the ice instead. I thought I remembered him saying that didn't have breakers. The he must be thinking of something else. Uh, okay, great. Let's ask about important things. The breakers? What are they? No, don't. Oh, God. Well, just like the name says, they break the ice. That's what let us operate as a ferry. Hey, why don't we just let Alcadius make a few of his jokes as an icebreaker? That ought to free our path through the water. Uh, when I get down to the machine room, what do I do? Turn on the breakers. Turn on the breakers, lower them down to the ice, and make sure you adjust the power. If you need any help, I can guide you from up here. Oh, I very much doubt that. Take it easy on the bottle while I'm in the machine room, please. I'm counting on you. What on earth? Go and turn on the damn breakers for me now, instead of preaching the good word. All right, I'm going. I mean, I'd rather you not and murder us double, all. Please. Because if we stay stuck like this, we're just like a worm wriggling about on the end of a hook for that monster lurking below us. Hey, here's a question. Who is everyone's favorite character in this game? Because I think mine is currently none. <laughs> Tell me it's not more cold. Hopefully we have enough coal to run the thing, because otherwise we're just done. Game over. Ice monster? Yeah, I think that's a good call. Uh, since he hasn't gotten any dialogue yet, what is this? What is this small thing on the ground I could and should easily miss? Why are there just matches here now? I've walked through this room like 30 times. Oh, I give up. Oh, the invisible man. Yeah, that's legit. We've had some, had some technical difficulties. The knife is... Ooh, the knife's a good answer. I'm liking these answers. I, I've managed to attract my own people to the stream. People who know how I think. And that's probably a good and weirdly narcissistic thing. Wow, uh, they sure have made an offensive fake language for the for the Ugols. I'm disappointed that the knife's not getting more screen time. I'll definitely say that much. The, the weird thing is, like, even though some of the characters in previous Siberia games have had kind of annoying quirks, like, they're usually, like, charming. Like, this game just doesn't capture that same feel. Um, okay. First gear, maybe. Oh, of course. It has a cover for the button. Why would it not? Uh, okay, what does this do? Oh, did I, did I blow a fuse? Wow, that looks goofy. Cabin girl, can you hear me? Don't call me that. What is it, Captain? Why on earth are the breakers still not working yet? Because you didn't tell me how this they work, and they don't make any sense. Keep stalling. You need to be a lot faster with the gears. Once in third, make sure you change to second really quickly. What? How am I even supposed to know that's something I need to do? So like... So I do... I like liter- like what?
the second I put it up to third, it breaks. Like, his advice was like, when you get it up to third, switch it to second. But I can't get it up to third because when I get it to third, no matter what I do, it immediately stops working. make any sense. Okay. What? What? Okay. Why does this machine operate in this fashion? Like, how is the end design for this machine such that it just, like, stops working when performing its one design task? Au revoir, Mateo. Uh, thank you for coming to visit. Uh, hopefully we may see you in the future. game is making the assumption that I already know how to operate this machine, which seems like an insane assumption because, like, quick quick informal poll here in the chat, have any of you ever operated uh, the breaker machinery on some sort of ice-faring vessel? I, for one, have not. Because, like, if I have to switch down from third gear to second really quickly... What good does that even do me? Like, I need third gear because it's the most powerful gear, right? I don't... Uh, quick follow-up informal poll. Based on the information given to us by the game, which is simply, once you get it into third gear, you have to switch it to second gear really quickly. Uh, can, does anyone have an immediate sense of what it is I'm doing wrong? Am I being dumb here? Because I'm really trying not to blame everything on the game, but so far the game isn't giving me much leeway to not blame it for everything being broken. Yes, that's a, that is a very good point, Sherry, is that uh, it's not like you're building up a skill set. Like, previous Siberia games sort of have you learn kind of how, like, clockwork mechanisms work, and even though the puzzles don't tend to be exactly the same over time, like, you still sort of get a general knowledge base of how their world is designed. But in this game, like, every puzzle is entirely random, and none of them are based on any like real world or logical skills they're all based on some sort of fantastic like internal logic that only the game designers would understand because none of it is established by the game stuff like the clock that had medicine in it the this device um the fact that i'm supposed to smash my way out of the previous puzzle like i don't, I don't know I think you're supposed to lower it before switching it to third gear but that doesn't seem to work. That seems to be the thing that most consistently causes it to, like, break. Yeah, if I, if I get it anywhere near third gear when it's lowered, like, it instantly shuts off. And then go down to second, so it, so it cuts before it dies. But also, like, if we can, if we can, so, like, we lower it, and we're at zeroth gear... Which, like, this seems okay. But no, that just, that just broke. That just broke. Uh, 
Like, the actual purpose of the valve is unclear. I can use the valve to, like, disconnect the rotor from the engine. So, like... So, like, the problem is, when I've disconnected it, I can't lower the thing down to the ice. Even if that's the thing I want to do. Start at first gear, then lower it before going to third gear. So, like, hit zero every time? What happens if I lower it now? Like, right now, I can't lower it. If, if, the, if the engine is disengaged from the machine, I can't lower it. Uh... Just use the knife. I'm telling you, man, knife ought to be the solution to, like, half this game's puzzles. Shouldn't need to tell you that particular... Uh, that percussive mate ma Percussive maintenance, while appealing, is not the solution. Wow, someone's been playing, like, Darkest Dungeon or something. Um... So you're saying I shouldn't hit it with a hammer. That seemed like that could work, but that also broke the machine. Okay. So we're at zero. We're gonna lower. And we're gonna move to one. And then we're gonna shift down to zero. Then we're gonna shift to two. And we're gonna shift to zero. So the timing has something to do with the gauge, I guess. Wonder if we'll ever get a good puzzle. Uh, did we have one in the past? Maybe that's when we got it. Um, so let's. If I switch to three here, does it start? I just, I just, I just don't, I just don't understand this. Like, I just don't, I don't know what it wants me to do. This game keeps giving me such terrible, like, clues to what it wants from me. Like, I don't mind a puzzle that, like, I just, like, don't wrap my head around if it makes sense, but, like, this game keeps, like, just telling me the wrong thing. It's like, oh, like, you're having this super high-level problem when really, like, this entire concept doesn't make any sense. Anytime it touches the ice, it just it just gradually like increases pressure until it fails to work. Which like just like that doesn't make any sense. If this machine can't cut ice, it's not an ice cutting machine, right? Like that just like who would design a device that works this way? I mean, like I don't I don't know how to drive manual. I don't know that this is exactly the same. I agree that it, it definitely looks like it's working off a similar concept. But, like, you just, like, you shift into higher gears as the engine revs into an appropriate fashion until you reach the desired gear, at which point, like, the engine power of the car is suitable for that, right? But, like, he's saying that he wants us to shift down, and that doesn't seem to make sense. Cancel it. I don't, man. I just. Uh, I missed the message. Ho hopefully, hopefully he was able to <laughs> tolerate whatever was happening. I'm not sure how he found our stream. I enjoyed his presence, and I feel like I provided nothing to his life. Um... 
Okay, so now we're in something equating to neutral, right? No, that was, that's first gear. Okay, okay. Get it, man. I don't. So, second gear provides enough pressure to break it. If I interact with the intercom, you just gonna say, like, you have to switch the gear. If he knows how to run this ship, he really ought to just do this stuff. Okay, so lower the apparatus. First gear is the only safe gear. I just, I can't do that fast enough. So, I think we want to start in first gear. Now, am I supposed to jump straight to third, and then use the leeway I have to cut down to second? And if so, why? Like, that doesn't seem to be how gear shifts work, so I don't know why I would assume that I want this to work that way. It has to be one, three, two. Yeah, that's, that's sort of where I'm at now, so let's try that. Why would, like, why would I assume that that works that way? Like, this game needs more, like, instructions or game cues or something, because every time we've encountered a puzzle, it's like, all right, this is deeply unintuitive, but I'm sure you've got it, and then it just stares at you until you do it. Like, like, this is not how you design an adventure game. But, like, I don't even think that's how, like, I'm pretty sure that's not how driving manual works. Thank you, Haggis. Thank you. So that's not just me. I have no reason to assume that that's what the game wants me to do. There! Job well done. Good work, Captain. Metal Gear! How long before we get to Nowadus? It'll be in just a few more Nowadus? That's not where we're going. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Another iceberg? No. This time it came from the stern. Stuck. Good lord. Go and see what's holding us up and report right back fast. When we inevitably find a sea monster, I really hope that we just fight it with the knife. The boat would be much superior if it had legs. I feel like we've got enough real world knowledge to know that that is accurate. Anything that doesn't already have legs could be made more powerful by having legs. Hey, you goals. Ice that is in Nanook Metal must stop so soon again? You should go and do what the captain asked you to do, Kate Walker. We're losing time. How? How could you? What a... Wow. I do not like this character. You have cost us so much time. He's like, whoa, what's the holdup, Kate Walker? Changing route. Big, big mistake. We didn't change route. Oh, maybe she means not crossing the frozen lake, but using a boat or whatever. They change how gear shifts work, can't they change how boats work? I suppose. I, I don't know why not. What the? He wants us to blow up a kraken. Wow. This game sure doesn't know what's up anymore. I mean, wow. So this is, so this is real, right? Like, this isn't me just having some sort of mental break. Like, there's actually a Kraken attacking this ship in Siberia 3. 
and someone shot it. So, you're back to finish the job off, you bastard. I have a very hard time believing that he would be capable of doing this, considering he spent 20 years of his life avoiding this confrontation. That's all the ammo there is. Later, Kate. That bastard's attracted to the running light. Gotta shake a leg and turn them all off. <sighs> how? Can you tell me how to turn off the running lights. Just get there and break all the bulbs. That was that was a bad one, Thorax, but I still appreciate it. I'm going to try to start the engines back up and get us out of here. Good luck, Bosun. Huh. Well, I didn't actually pay attention to what he said because I was reading chat. So, you know, got that going for us. Into the void! Quickly, or all ostriches lost. Yeah, where are the ostriches, by the way? Oh. I guess that answers that question. There'll be chaos here soon. I have to hurry. There'll be chaos here soon. There'll be chaos here soon. That feels like a weird observation. I mean, we've used the knife like four times already. So it's not like we're looking for the one use of it or something. So, like, we're trying to help this group of sort of indigenous people who are offensive stereotypes of a non-existent culture uh, to cross a lake uh, to, to reach the end of their normal migration. Uh, they have these weird, like, monstrous snow ostrich things. Um, that we have to help along with everything else. So like, what? Okay. I, I definitely, I was not paying enough attention to his explanation. Where do I need to go? Yes, uh, of course, the snow stretch, yes. Need to find the circuit break. What are you still doing here? I don't know. Okay, no, hold on though. Hold on for serious though. Go and destroy the spotlights. Okay, sure. But like, that first thing is not good game signaling. If in a puzzle game, if you don't know what's happening, the game needs to at least remind you of the parameters. Cause like, what happens if you like, stop playing the game and load up a save file? Like, you need to have that as a feature of your game. Yeah, everything in this game makes a ton of sense. There's no need to question any of it. There's one on the bow, isn't there? This is a great question. It would seem as though one could just turn off the lights. I won't be able to break it barehanded. Um, I mean, you could. We still have the statue? We've got a scarf. I'm assuming it's the knife. Wait, I can't... Okay. Well, I, I guess that's fine. It doesn't It doesn't seem to want to let me break them with the knife. Okay. This boat has some problems. Okay. One down? I don't, I don't know what's, like, happening, though. Can you grab the gunny through down? I don't think so, but I was planning on trying that. Um, it seemed like there wouldn't be any ammo left, even if I could get it. Well, the thing is, they were expecting this creature. That's the crazy thing. Well, of course. I had to assume randomly that there would just be an ice pick somewhere, you know, like you do. I 
mean, one could argue that, you know, a knife could probably serve this function, but yeah, why not? And then, for some reason, also... For some reason, also, uh, the Kraken just takes one out by itself. I would also like to point out that if these lights serve a function, it doesn't seem like a great idea to smash them with a hammer. Because, like, if I need those at some point in the future, I can't flip a switch and reconstitute the glass, you know? Look, we've all fallen into a really easy pitfall here, which is to try and make sense of the logic that comprises this world. I know I'm the one leading the charge here and causing us to do this, but we really have to stop making these assumptions because this world just doesn't make any sense. So trying to make sense of it, it's only going to give us a bad day. Of course it's stuck. Of course this one is stuck. Why wouldn't one of them randomly be stuck? It's stuck. Like, what could I possibly... Like, what, what would I use? The scarf? Hang on. What happens if I observe the scarf? My old scarf. It's hard to get rid of after everything we've been through together. Wait, we were given this, but what's her face? Yukal matches. Yukal matches look weird. Can, can you? It's monster of lake. Can you help me turn the thing? Nah, you're just glitching. Okay, but like, I don't have any... I, I think the only solution is to burn the boat. I have to oh. find a way to push this crate. Like, hands? Would hands be a way to push the crate? Why is... Why? Why, why can the game not just correctly interpret that when I'm interacting with the crate, I want to use the crate? Why must it be difficult? Uh... Alright, break it, please. Okay, we did it. Okay. We're done? How many lights are there on the stupid boat? I'm assuming something interesting happens when I break the last one. This may not be a sound assumption. Oh good, there's one right here. Alright, well, I'm at a loss as to... That's not right. Do I just, do I just throw the ice pick at it? Wait, where's the ice pick? Nice. Let's try something else. Scarf? No way. Impossible. Where did my ice pick go? Maybe you could ask the Kraken to destroy the lights. I mean, it broke one for me. Okay, so I'm still holding the ice pick, but it doesn't count as being in my inventory. Um, can I, like, sneak around? Is that a thing that the game will let me do? I feel like that won't happen. You, you are not helping. Why are they running around on the deck with the Kraken here if they're afraid of the Kraken? If they're afraid of the Kraken, they should go, like, below deck where the tentacles aren't going to get them. But I can't combine anything with the ice pick because it's a fake item. It doesn't really exist. Okay, it doesn't look like... Wow, you are just always in my way. It does not look like the game is going to let me go around to reach the Kraken. Um, so... Must have been 80% of the budget. You're not wrong. That is pretty good animation. Other than the weird fog texture that's not quite working as I would expect it to. It doesn't work. And why isn't the Kraken doing anything? Yeah, that's a really, really good question. Impossible. That's not right. 
Well, none of my items do anything, and I can't seem to skirt around the problem. Is the gun, in fact, still here? And more importantly, is it interactive? Empty. Yes and no. It is here, I can't do anything with it, because as I theorized, no ammo. as long as the monster is focused on it so i'm supposed to get i can't reach the light as long as the monster is focused on it but i broke all the other lights that's the thing that would distract it what like seriously it should either be like breaking up the ship or doing something like it's literally just doing nothing wait a minute I have a really dumb idea. I don't think this will work, but I feel like it should work. 45 minute break for every 15 minutes of destruction. That sounds like a real thing. Get out of my way, Yukles! You're the worst! Man, I'm starting to think that I made a mistake trying to help these Yukles. They are literally nothing but trouble. Um... Can I go below deck and free the animals to distract the Kraken? I hope you're joking, Haggis. I honestly can't tell, because with this game, I'm not totally inclined to give them credit for making a... I mean, it's not a good plan, but it is a plan that could definitely work. And she said before that, like, it would be chaos, right? So, like, chaos is presumably what we need to distract the Kraken. Now, I recognize that they want these snow ostriches, even though they, they look like, you know, reject Muppets from some horror movie unmade. But, like, how else can I distract the Kraken? Can I use the icebreaker on it? <laughs> Montag and I had that idea at the same time. I'm pretty sure I can't, because I don't think that's an interactable point anymore. Well, we're already below deck, and we're gonna find out. Yeah, that's not interactable. Okay, hold on. So... My old scarf. It's hard to get rid of after everything we've been through together. So, you can't actually combine inventory items. I'm almost positive. Otherwise, I was thinking maybe we're supposed to make a torch by wrapping this conspicuously shaped scarf around something and using these convenient matches that were just lying around on the ship. Is this the TARDIS boat? Yes, it definitely is. It also has like 10,000 chairs on it. Which, for some reason, just perplexes me to no end. Alright. So, we've learned nothing, but... It occurs to me that we have found two convenient items on the ship. One useful and one unuseful. This suggests to me that perhaps there is some other item of great importance lying around. Oh my good god. Just, just open. Why must the controls be horrid? Oh, this game is the dumbest. Guys, we're Jurassic Park now. Yeah, this, this game has some really awkward controls where, like, it wants you to do a linear task with rotational motion on the controller, and it does not register it correctly. Uh, alright. I mean, I really don't think this would work, especially since we're not even looking at the Kraken's face. But, you know what? This game doesn't make any sense, so why apply logic? Why would that work? Why, why would that...
I, I think we tech I think we did it. I'm gonna take credit for that one. Despite the fact that that didn't make any sense and the game didn't signal it properly, I still got rid of that Kraken. Uh, victory! You did it, Captain. Yes, I think. We did not do it. Apparently, I'm not a very good captain. Now we have to try and see. Come up with something else. What do you suggest? Go cut the engines. The sound must be what's drawing it to a still. I'll go get the next part ready. What next part? Don't worry about that. Just get a move on. Hurry! Is he gonna feed it the snow ostriches? That's my plan. You can't take credit for that. Alright, we're going below deck again. Now, one wonders, how do I stop the engine? Something with the coal furnace thing? No. Uh. See, again, it would be super... So, like, speaking to my sister's very valid point about game design before, if we were going to have a puzzle where we had to, like, adjust all these things while the Kraken was attacking us, these should have been the chores that we were doing to get the boat running. Is like start up the engines and like figure out how to work the icebreaker and stuff so that then we could make some variation on them later on that like actually builds off of the gameplay we've already established like that would actually make some amount of sense does he mean that like we actually just have to go up to like his thing and flip the switch to stop the engines I'm gonna try that even though that also seems ridiculous. Because every time there's ever been anything to do up in the captain's cabin, he's just done it himself and insisted that we go do some other more boring and arduous task. And climb the stairs, woman! What even are you doing, Yukul guy? Get, get out of here! Get out of here! You are in my way! I mean, this is the, this is the engine control. It looks like this. So, like, why can I not use it? And why is this guy here? Somehow this would bother me a lot less if you weren't here. So I guess I have to do something below deck, even though there doesn't seem to be anything I can interact with below deck. Quickly, or all ostrich is lost. This game would be a lot shorter if it would actually just like tell us what it wanted us to do. I'm just mashing X, walking along the engine room, hoping each time that the next button press will be the leap home. I can only think of two obvious ways that I would stop the engine. One, by messing with the boiler, which does not seem to be an option. And two, like, just actually flipping the switch. Oh, I'm sorry. Is the camera angle important? If I don't approach it from this side, the game doesn't make this solvable? Is that what we're going for? No, I don't think so, because I can't actually walk towards it. But again, I would argue those are the two ways that I would think to stop the engine. So if the game doesn't want me to do either of those things, then it should really tell me what it wants me to do instead. There'll be chaos here soon. I have to hurry. This feels like a weird reaction to looking at this. And I agree that the Ewoks make more sense than the Ewoks. Alright. Once again, I ask, 
Am I being dumb here? Is there an obvious thing that I'm missing? Because nothing that seems like it makes sense works, so I have to assume that I have to go try something that doesn't make any sense. Which probably means walking all the way around the ship. It looked like it had an interaction point like a thousand years ago, and we've never used it for anything. Does this, in some way, interact with the engines? No? Great. Yuko lady, you, you go away. It'll sink us if I don't stop the motors as soon as possible. Okay, so what... In, in the mind of the game, what am I focused on? Because this looks like nothing to me. This is just sort of the whole boat. Oh, the captain is here. I'm gonna tell him to tell me what the crap to do. Where do you want me to go? Move it, for God's sake! What are you still doing here? Move it, for God's sake! What are you still doing here? Move it, for God's sake! Alright, I'm... 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 I'm officially mad now. Because, like, what... What am I supposed to do to stop the boat if not cut the engines manually or use the actual intended control to stop the engine? And again, this would be way less annoying if the captain would just be like, go to the bridge and do the thing, or like, go to the engine room and do the thing. Like, if it just gave me some sense of what it needed from me. It looks like it needs repairs. Too bad. Got our priorities straight. We gotta worry about that Victrola there. so lost man why is this game so hard like we are way past the age where it makes sense for adventure games to be like counterintuitive because of lack of knowledge about how video games work like we have moved past this as a society and this guy does not belong on the bridge and all of the ukuls are terrible Is it the painting? Do I need to use the painting to solve the problem? Spirit of Lake, come punish you, Coles. Spirits get revenge. We are counting on you, Kate Walker. Well, you've chosen the wrong champion. I mean, it has to be something below the ship, right? Like... There's like nothing anywhere on the ship that is an interaction point right now. Other than like looking at the Victrola or like talking to Yukos. Or that weird cinematic scene that has only recently appeared but in no way seems to function. There go the motors. Let's hope the monster will leave us alone now. What? So just in this one dark corner is a is a switch that stops the ship, but no one will tell me this. Nothing has ever pointed me here. I have to walk all the way to the farthest corner of the the section under the ship to interact with it at all. None of the logical means of stopping the ship work. I have to flip this breaker switch. That again, if we have a breaker switch, we should have flipped this to stop the lights, it would have it would have been a lot faster than going around and manually smashing all of the lamps. None of this makes any sense. This entire section of the game is just like a fever dream. Like, Chopin would look at this from, from the precipice that Polka jumped off of and be like, Dang, this is crazy, yo. 
So I'm gonna go talk to the captain. He's gonna let the Kraken eat him or some nonsense. Now he's gone. Oh, he fixed the magical broken Victrola. Monster's still here. Good work, Captain. The monster's still there. I'm well aware of that. That's actually why we need a small diversion. What kind of diversion? What are you talking about? How is it unclear from this situation what the diversion is? Floating bait, then drop it down into the water. That should draw the beast's attention away from the crystal. I'll go and fix the gramophone, and you go get the light. Hurry. Go get the light? What light? What light? You can't just say go get the light. We haven't established what that means. Move it for God's sake. Oh, I hate this man so much. I'm not sure if he had like one particular quote about the world not being real. I feel like he had several similar small quotes. Oh no, it didn't work. We have to warn the captain. Okay, but like what light though? This is maddening. Do I need to go get another flare out of the mystery box? Wait a minute. Oh, that's some light. Oh, I need a light that can work on its own. Light. Can we just give him the matches? Is that what he wants? It's like an oil lamp. All right, I cannot give him the matches. It's a good thing we smashed all the lamps on board the ship before deciding that we needed lamps, huh? That wasn't a short-sighted decision that could have been circumvented by flipping the breaker switch in the first place. Which also could have been easily presented as a solution by having Captain tell me that that exists and that it was a thing that I should be doing. This guy is not a very good captain. Alright. Oh, I can't go back into the mystery flare box! Of course! Why would a solution that actually makes sense in an appropriate context, like, suddenly be usable in this game? My guy, get off the stairs. What is wrong? What is happening? Incorrigible. What? What is happening? Oh, we're gonna make like a torch with vodka. Great timing. No time to read. God, this 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 whole this honestly though this sequence is so unbearably convoluted it's absurd what is happening god i am so far beyond being able to explain what's happening i am completely completely lost man a hundred and eighty proof i bet this is flammable I mean, yeah, but like, where can I go to actually construct the torch? Because I cannot combine items in my inventory. We yes, we did set sail. I feel like that's that's that much I can say. What is the puzzle? Well, currently we need to find a, a self-sustained light source so that we can put it on a boat with some bad music. And scare away the Kraken. Yep, that's happening. Now, the problem is that I'm pretty sure the game wants me to construct a torch, but has not provided me the means to make a torch, despite giving me the items necessary to construct a torch. Man, I hate this youthful person. What are you still doing here? But, like, this game does not have an in-inventory, like, combination system. So, like, how can I make the torch? 
like clearly wants me to make a torch because I can look at like every lamp on the boat. She's like, nah, not that lamp. Off, it'll be useless. So like, where can I go to construct it? There's sort of like a workbench downstairs. Maybe that is a thing. Oh my god, I hate these yugos. I think you can construct the torch where you found the gas lamp. Found the gas lamp? I don't know what you mean by that. Just need to strip Johnny Depp off and you'll be good. Well, so, apparently there's a gas lamp here at the place I was just talking about, but I hadn't found this, so... <laughs> that was clearly coming from the walkthrough, which is fine. Uh, you can vodcon yourself and accept fate while being blissfully drunk. That seems realistic. Of course. Of course! Yeah. I have matches in vodka, I just needed some way to combine them. I didn't know that, like, this was not an interactable point before, so I didn't know that this existed to use. Like, I didn't know this was a gas lamp, it could have been anything. The sound effects sync perfectly. I feel like this game is, is, like, designed by someone who assumes you've already beaten it. Like, like, if you already know all these things, like, the game's not very hard. But, like, the game tells you nothing. I, I, I am fairly certain that I cannot pick up that gas lamp until that point just now. I don't even think I can look at it until, um, we turn off the engines. Alright. What's wrong with our hand? Why is it glowing like that? There's so many questions about this game. That seems like a, a fairly accurate maximum of game design. I'm not sure if anything along those lines was remotely employed here. Dead. It's just, to me, it feels really clear that this game was not designed by the same people who did either of the previous games. Captain, what are you doing? Like, the story was done by probably the same person. I think he does. I think I think yes, he I needs do. to die. It's the wrong current. The lifeboat won't move away from the ship. My God, I've been waiting for this for twenty years. Farewell, Kate. I know you'll get the pit sweeps there, safe and sound. Captain. You hear me, a bastard? No, fire and music attract a kraken. So Krakens on. love it's fire music parties. Like that fire festival. You know the one. Come on, monster! It's Captain Almost Biggie Scared of what? I believe Montag is correct. The only way to win this game is not to play, and also to kill yourself. He's been waiting to drown for 20 years. Yeah, I mean, it would have happened a lot faster if he just had gone to sea at any point. Oh my god, she pulled the Man of Steel like, no. Kate, who's going down. to drive the boat? Um, probably that one dude who's been like hanging out at the wheel. Oh, good. We're not out of the woods just yet. You know what's surprisingly fun? Slime Rancher. What's Slime Rancher? Yeah, right, okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm really glad that I'm playing this with you guys here. 
despite the fact that I am subjecting you to this game, which apparently no one should be made to play, I feel like I would be so much more frustrated if there weren't people just being like, why is this happening? Like, none of this makes sense. Because, like, I would be thinking this to myself, and, like, no one would be here to, like, acknowledge that. And it's so important that the world know that this is just a mess. This is just nonsense. Ah! Miss Kate Walker better? Oh, I hate the ukulele so much. Yes. I think. Are we at now? Yeah, like, that's too convenient. Like, I can deal with either one of those in the right circumstances in a video game. But you can't be like, oh, we didn't think of what happens next in the plot, so a rogue wave knocks you out, and then you just get there. And that way you don't have to think about it. I mean, like, the Yukos in Siberia 2 had a weird way of speaking, Kirk, but it wasn't just, like, weird, offensive, non-language Jar Jar Binks garbage. Like, this is definitely worse. Oh yeah, they were supposed to land, like, not directly at the city, so they wouldn't get irradiated, but we're here now. Uh, run. Baranur, but... The monster's attack knocked us off course. Then we ran aground here. That sign of the spirits. They want to be sure Yukul Caravan follow sacred path like always. Migration must continue. Spirits show right route. <laughs> spirits could have, you know, helped Before at any point there. I'm just the saying. Again, we need to figure out how much radiation there is around here. If we get exposed to too much, none of us will see the end of this journey. That's not the only problem, Kate Walker. We ran aground opposite the beach, and the ostriches are stuck in the hold. We have to move the crystal forward before we can open the doors. We'll take care of that as soon as I found a way to measure the radioactivity here. Until That's then, nobody insane. is to leave the crystal. That's like truly insane. This is a consideration you need to make before you leave. If we just find a Geiger counter on this boat, I don't know, I'm gonna lose my mind. Like, that's. That's completely insane. That would never happen. How would the ship not capsize? That's a really good question, considering the way that wave hit us. Okay, can, can we look at the ridiculous? There it is. Uh, I'm sorry, I pressed the cinematic button. Please, please activate the useless cinematic. There we go. Game can't even follow its own weird and arbitrary controls now. I say screw this migration. Let's just hang out at a theme park. There aren't any lines because it's, you know, Chernobyl light. Clue. White post on ship. God, I'm discouraged by the fact that a clue feels like it needs to be presented immediately. And also that... That, like... Oh, what? What is this? Too dangerous if I can't detect the radiation. Like, you can't detect the radiation. <laughs> oh, there's a... Oh, what are those called? Those horrible, like, seal dogs. It looks way uglier than the last Captain game. Captain sacrificed for Miss Ketwalk and tribe. Yeah, he made a bad decision. I think we, we're, I think we're all on the same page about that. Very, very sad for Captain Talk Too Loud. Oh, as if any of you yukels care. Yeah, there's a name for these. They're... It's something... They're Yukis. Uh, which is unnecessarily similar to the name of the tribe, the Yukels. Uh, they're this weird, like, seal dog hybrid creature. And, like, this looks way uglier and scarier than the previous game, where they were like... Almost cute, but like too uncanny valley. Wow, it's real spooky in here. here here's, here's my problem with her reasoning, right? Like, 
hypothetically, in order to get them where they're going, we have to go through the park, right? So the more time we spend here trying to find a, a means of measuring radiation, the more likely we are to die of radiation overexposure. So, like, doesn't it just inherently make more sense to just book it the heck through the theme park? Like, why would you spend any time looking for that? Like, you're not going to do better than the quickest you could possibly do. Oh, obviously. Why do we why do we have this? Why do we have this? <laughs> Tuned out of the game and love listening. I feel like that's the best compliment you could give me, that you're willing to watch through this garbage and have no interest in the game. Uh so thanks for that, I guess, and also thanks for just enduring it. I feel like I'm at my best when I hate a game very strongly. So this thing, just in the background of the cutscene, this is just supposed to be like a... Just, just like an impromptu Geiger counter. Alright, I don't know why this exists. Empty. Right. Some sort of vending machine. Do I need the key for it? No, oh, there's a... Just play the slots, I guess. Blocked. Blocked? Blocked. Oh. Blocked. I've seen a lock like this somewhere before. So, so I did, in fact, need the ship's key. So I guess I'm glad I randomly obtained the ship's key. Do I have to turn it? Ah, uh, this game! Okay, that should do it. Yeah, it's not, it's not like we have the means to, like, protect people. At best, we can figure out at what point we're screwed beyond hope. And that just doesn't seem helpful to me. Check out this sweet technology that totally makes sense. Huh? I'm guessing you just see the radiation? Yeah, it's like cartoon fart clouds. These glasses make radiation look like cartoon fart clouds. Also, I would really like to point out that that's just simply not how radiation works. Alright, so, like, who can I talk to about whatever the other thing? We've got to, like, move the ship enough for the stupid birds to get off of it. So these goggles let you see all of the radiation. It's not how radiation works. Prime, honor, great memory of being Captain Talk Too Loud. For always. Well, I guess now I can see radiation. Was that what I wanted? Unclear. I, I, I must admit that this is not a very good game. The human is exposed to enough radiation, your eyes start glowing blue. Even though it means you're almost dead. Hmm, fun fact. Uh, right. I was gonna go look at the birds. Be the dead horse. It's not radiation, it's radiation! Workbench too high. I would argue that you're just Ostriches awful. Must be all impatient you're just sort of an abomination. Migration seemed very, very difficult this time. Yeah, I wonder why that is. Everybody's fine. Phew. Okay, so I can't interact directly in any meaningful way. Uh with the animals, so... Oh. Wait a minute. I'm gonna try something stupid before I try something smart. Because that's how this game works. Yeah, it's it's very similar to the, the, uh, the old Hermione switch-up. Alright. So, like... So, the... So so the solution to moving the ship is not to start the engines again. Cool, no, that's no problem. I don't know why. 
I don't know why it even occurred to me that in order to move the ship, I might want to use the ship's engines. That's preposterous. I've clearly let this game get to my head. I don't know why I'm thinking so foolishly. So, I guess, then, that the air quotes obvious thing to do is try and disembark from the regular old ramp thing because there was sort of a interaction point there and she was complaining about it because I couldn't see the radiation um, and that's over here is it not yeah good good thing our impromptu Noah's Ark has saved the species of nightmare birds right that's truly the, the main takeaway from this whole scenario. I'd also like to point out that the Yukos have done, like, squat all to get their journey done. Like, it's one thing if, if we need to help them with, like, the hard stuff, but, like, all they've done is, like, run around, like, flailing on the ship and, like, talking about bad omens and generally being unhelpful and being racist caricatures of a culture that doesn't exist, as far as I know. Hmm. It occurs to me that if there's anything actually resembling the Yukul tribe in real life, this game would be horrendously offensive. Well, we sort of did it. Kind of. Oh, that's snow, though. Wait, what is what? Is what? No, just look at... Okay. No more power. Oh, no more power. What? Why is the camera flip-flopping around all over the place? Not worrying, please. Me stay close. Why do you need to stay close if it's not working? I may be able to tow the crystal using this tractor. That feels a little ambitious. I just have to get to it first. I mean... Yeah, I guess. Well, apparently I can do this. So this is the icebreaker. How am I supposed to fix that? Huh. So the radiation doesn't matter as long as you can see it. That is what this game would have you believe, yes. Which, as I stated before, is simply not how radiation works, so... So, yeah, no, about that, no thanks, though. Is there something in this cabin I want? For some reason, this feels, like, remarkable. Okay, I don't know why we needed to see exactly, like, one-third of that cutscene. What am I looking at here? Oh, of course, it's another weird, convenient ice hook thing. Could, okay, couldn't that just have been the hook that we got before? Like, do we need to introduce two hook-shaped objects into the game? What's the purpose? <laughs> Radiation is fine. Radiation builds character, guys. I'm hoping that, like... Y you know what might actually redeem this game for me by the end? Is if, like... Whatever the final act is, they just scale up all the stupid crap that we've seen so far. And, like, it just goes to, like, a thousand. Oscar. Um, so, if the previous games are to be believed, there exists no automaton <sighs> that is anything like Oscar. Oscar doesn't exist anymore. I know that. And all those automatons look alike. Racist? Just do it already. Your medallion. The heart. You know. It's a good thing this guy on the verge of death condition. gave us all this exposition. It contains a lot of essential data. He really could have said this the first time we met him, too. Like, it just Everything seemed like a weird time to introduce worked. that information. You understand, on that particular model, the heart and intelligence were intermingled. And going so at our atrocious crawl speed, this really wasn't that, that long ago in this game of gameplay time. So the flashback feels day. largely unnecessary. Especially since it is that entire conversation. Maybe if I could 
the finale is just King's Quest Chapter 2. Good thing that we've become old pros at King's Quest Chapter 2. How is this a puzzle? Just do the darn thing. XZ2000. Oscar's serial number. You know, I get, why is that even an interaction point? Just do this. Just do it already. This should not require my input. Let's try something else. Guess the knife? I don't know. What, what are you looking not for a here? Chance. Nothing. That's not right. No way. Impossible. What happens when I look at the goggles? With these, I should be able to see the radiation around me. Good, I finally got the trophy for looking at my inventory. It's really bothering me. Locked. I mean, I'm sure we'll find the key somewhere, but it's annoying the way the game presents that as though it's something that we should be able to solve. Why are there so many holes in the boardwalk in exactly the places I want to go? Do we have to ride an irradiated roller coaster to get where we're going? Yes, they're probably based on one, the other, or some combination of, like, multiple cultures within those regions, Alcadius. Yeah, we, we've encountered some number of obstacles that are, uh... I mean, I think the most egregious was still, the, at the end of the last stream that we did, there was a point where, like, we had to break into a building, and it had, like, um... Sort, think of, like, sort of, like box office like ticket windows with like no glass in them and like she was like no we have to like break through the door by like removing it from its hinges it's like no nah, there's like a big gaping hole that you could easily just go inside of like this is literally not an obstacle I i'm really hoping uh, for the theme park to do something good Either that, or I'm hoping that in the end the game will just, like, do something so, like, preposterously illogical that, like, it reveals this whole game is just some bizarre troll experiment. Oh, these loading screens in the theme park, they're not a great start, I think. Oh, really? Come on. All right. The Vorlberg Crest. Hans put it on all of his inventions. I'm not even sure we actually established that fact. Um. That's not right. Knife? It doesn't work. Let's try truck. something else. Not a chance. No way. God, how many items Nothing. am I going to get here? Impossible. Also, why wouldn't I just take this with me? Oh, well, I know, because the game has no mechanism for combining items for no reason. Hmm, 15 plus 2.5. Or 25 with weird font. I mean, I'm sure this will be useful at some point, but it sure looks like nonsense right now. God, this really feels like Silent Hill. I should be able to separate the car from the cart. Okay. Now, I'm not sure why I want to do that, but I did it. It's 
funny. The game lagged for a second and that interaction point was still there. Uh, okay. So, something, something, this stupid device. I should be able to tow the crystal by attaching it to this winch. Now, how many hoops are you going to make me jump through to make that happen? No ignition controls. Well, it's clearly supposed to be driven by an automaton. I see. The automaton that controlled the tractor has to be connected to this pin, shaped like a Varlberg key, to start it. It's ingenious. But I need an automaton in working order. Ugh, so before I can do anything, I need the key that opens one of these stupid guys up? What on earth is that? Give it to me. The small key works on the box, and the box has the big key? They just locked a key in a drawer? Like, the literal worst kind of puzzle? Give it a shot! Okay. Oh, good. It gets it. There we go. Okay. I'm assuming that's the key that I need. And also this. That was the other thing I wanted. Is there anything else I can have? Wahlberg tools. Nothing better for fixing automatons. Never had them before. I don't know why we would suddenly... Need them now. Alright, let's go make ourselves Oscar 2.0. After several loading screens! Ten loading screens later. Alright guys, so what are you hoping that we get to do inside of the theme park? All answers welcome. I hope that we get to ride on irradiated teacups, which will definitely make you sick. Yes, come on. Snow lag? Oh god, something is happening. Was it necessary to have that weird dramatic reveal? Uh... This area really isn't safe, Kirk. You should go back on board the crystal. Later. Miss Kate Walker, come now. Quick. I'm trying to solve our problems, you horrible people. Wait, what? Turn it to ash. Below stinking rotten asphalt is sacred path of the migration. Miss Kate Walker must hurry and quickly bring out all ostriches so you girls can take this room. That's literally what I'm doing and you're stopping me from I doing it! I understand that you want to respect your customs to the letter. But moving your caravan through there is suicide. That avenue is completely contaminated. No blah blah, Miss Kate Walker. It is the will of the spirits. Miss Kate Walker saw what always happens when you call the poor spirits. Radiated cotton but candy. Our shaman is stubborn like an old ostrich, Kate Walker. So if I kill her with Do a knife, then I can dictate route? the rules? I don't know. For the moment, I'm concentrating on repairing an automaton to tow the crystal. Now the game signals me when I'm already, like, about to, to solve the blasted path. puzzle. This okay, game is so obnoxious! Safe zones and be careful. All right, all right. So, so we have votes for ride a runaway ride, murder someone, porn movie, cotton candy, and bumper cars. I, I like where everyone's heads at. I feel like that's a great to-do list for a theme park. Um, also, I never want to see these people again. You know what? I, I'm I'm really wishing I didn't have these glasses, so I could have just let them take the ostriches that way. And I'm like, you know what? I gotta get back to town. I'll see you all later. Bye.
And now this is really annoying because I don't know how to get where I'm supposed to be. Because they, like, took me some weird way without showing me the... I guess this way? They kind of... I don't know. Why, why won't the game let me solve a puzzle when I actually have, like, a logical solution to a puzzle? All of Baranor is contaminated by radiation. The caravan can't go that way. I think the caravan could go that way if it really wanted to. Okay, yeah, but like for real now. I don't I don't know where we were. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, I can't it's saying it suggests I came out this door, but that didn't I didn't I leave the same door that Ugh. completely clogged what the heck what did, did the game have like a seizure or something how did i even get here God, why are these so hard? This game is not that graphically challenging. Okay, but like, so for for really reals. Is this the same place I was viewed at a different camera angle? It is, but why? Why are there two camera angles? Why is loading so challenging for this game? I feel like we're the modern day game engine equivalent of like Atari pixels. I really don't know what the struggle here is. Hehehehe. <laughs> Good night, Montauk. Thanks for hanging out. I'm actually surprised that you adored this for so long. Uh, we probably won't run for, like, super much longer. But I doubt that it makes much difference to you what ends up happening in this world anyway. So, uh, have a good night. Uh, hope to see you at some future stream. I don't even just pick up. It's like a stick, like a sharp stick. It's literally a metal shank. Kill the Yukles. I will do my best. Is it... Why is there even a camera angle? Oh, wait, what? I'm so confused. Why are there so many entrances that all lead to the same place? <laughs> Let me just go back to where I was. I was finally going to solve a puzzle that made sense. And then the game just like booted me out to some weird insane place with no hint of how I got here. This game is like a, like a madness generator. like fidget magic mashing buttons on my controller hoping that it will somehow make the game load faster which obviously it won't okay so like want to talk to anyone. Everyone is terrible. Ostriches cannot come out now. How was I supposed to? Oh my god. 
to the Invisible Man visit? No, the game just like the, it's badly programmed. We're like. If you have everything you need to solve this one puzzle, it, like, dumps you at this new location that you have no reason to visit before that point. And then, like, makes you have this cutscene where characters, like, tell you that you need to do something that you were literally trying to solve. Like, it just doesn't make any sense for this to play out in this fashion. Uh, I don't think it would help, because it's not like I'm gonna read through the walkthrough beforehand. And with my current setup, I don't really have a convenient method of viewing it during the stream this is something i hope to address in the future um i appreciate the sentiment but i think the best that we can hope for is to have uh people on it when necessary i mean a walkthrough probably wouldn't help there because i don't think like unless someone like me wrote the walkthrough i doubt they'd be like yeah for some reason the game just like dumps you on the wrong screen you have to, like, turn 180 degrees and walk past several things that aren't familiar to get back to where you started from. Use the... Use it. What? No, oh, I have to, like, zoom in on it first. Cool. Cool story. Use the well, dang key. Let's try opening this trap door again. Grumble, grumble. Unintuitive. If the heart is beating, shouldn't the thing be functional in some capacity? Oh good, more of this. I think that worked. It's really difficult to tell. Uh, push it real good? Oh no, I need to use a Vorlberg Allen wrench, right? That's what we're, that's what we're talking about. Who unscrews something, turning it to the right? Vorlberg was a madman. I remember these locks. They're used to activate all of Hans's inventions. Like, some of them? I don't think all of them use that technology. <sighs> now I just have to find the right key. Ugh, that's insufferable. Um, well... I mean, we could go back inside and see if that box has the right thing. Who and why? What was that? Oh my god. The narrative is so contrived. I bet it's the ghost of Hans Vorlberg who just drove up in a roller coaster car to give us the key because that's how much sense this game makes. You know, unfortunately, we're not playing Quest for Gloria that has like practical character skills. Oh God, can you not use stairs again? Wow, that was way harder than that should have been. And why are we suddenly untold legends in it with all these fades to black? What even is this? Crumpled up note that isn't displaying properly. Let's look at the crumpled up note that wasn't displaying properly. Oh god. Strange assembly of dates and speeds in meters per hour, most of them crossed off. They are accompanied by the initials K and A, as well as Roman numerals 1 and 3. 
They look like rough analyses trying to figure out how to stop a moving object at a specific point. Am I going to have to do, like, a bunch of math to, like, make a roller coaster work? Because that seems dumb. That seems like a dumb use of my time. Somebody really went all out. How so? I don't know what that means in this context. Someone sure designed a ride for this theme park. Oh, this doesn't look good. This counter seems to show if the mechanism's spring is up or not. It looks like these holes were made on purpose. But what for? Oh, I gotta love these precision... These controls, they're aces, man. Hope the math for the roller coaster is not easy. <laughs> Why? Wait, do we need... But how can I... Okay. What, what now? We did something! I don't know why, or what exactly, but whatever that thing is, we did it! Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. There's radiation everywhere. Like clearly I've gone someplace that I just seems to show if the mechanism's spring is up or not. Okay. That seems dangerous. Having that like slowly opening door. Put the pin in around 20, maybe? This needle must be connected to the mechanism's spring. Mm, so... Wind the thing up. And then we put the shank in, I think, at like 20, it looked like. And then we pull the go lever. If I understand this correctly, it should stop us around the thing that she seemed to have interest in. But maybe not. If I remove the rod, 
The cart spring will be freed up and I should be able to move again. So ten then? There's radiation everywhere. Yeah, I guess ten is what I want. Alright, we'll try ten. It's kind of weird to gauge how quickly it's moving. I thought I would need more, like, stopping distance than putting it at 10. But... I guess that's... I guess that's, like, 15? Sure. Whatever. Oh, wait. Physics doesn't work that way. Wow, this thing looks a lot bigger in my inventory than it does... Just, like, casually... Jammed into the machine. Okay. So this might need to use more than one shank. Possibly, but I only have the one right now. So until I rule that out, I'm going to try a little trial and error to see what's available to us. <clears throat> Another option may be not winding it up all the way, although I'm not sure the Nothing controls actually support that. Seems dangerous. Um, I mean, yeah, I think we need to stop at like 17 or something, which is problematic. Can we wind it up or something? I feel like I should be able to interact with this in some way other than just removing the thing. Hmm. This counter seems to show if the mechanism's spring is up or not. That's a really bad description, by the way. If I remove the, the rod, the cart spring will be freed up and I should be able to move again. Yeah, with two shanks, I would probably be able to wind it up partially or something. I'm going to leave this alone for now, because it does seem like whatever it is I need to do, I can't do it just yet. Um, but then, like, why introduce that now? Why won't you just let me have Oscar game, honestly? Let's try this. Would the pirate world be able to survive with two Shanks? I mean, Shanks is one of the good ones, right? I feel like having two of him, they'd probably get along and they'd just drink and be merry. Next to the machine, there was a Shank? Next to the machine, there was like a note. We'll see if something logical presents itself. Otherwise, we may end soon. Ugh. Loading so slowly. Vorlberg tools. Nothing better for fixing automatons. Just as I thought. No activation key. <sighs> Good grief. It's really annoying. Is 
it starting from? Two? Hmm. Once again, not sure what I'm looking for. There's apparently a cog. We did it. We got the cog. Uh, I don't think I know what I need a cog for, so that's not immediately helpful. Uh, nope, that's not the thing that I wanted to do. What are you doing this out here? This not worry much. Yugo's always careful of bad spirits. Is there anything over here that matters? area exist like even from the like this is supposed to be a functional theme park point of view like what what would this do if this was a theme park this area is like open to the public without admission and does nothing what good is that okay I mean, we can go and see if we can find another shank over there, but I don't recall seeing any points of interaction that weren't that unhelpful note. The loading screens make this game so much more fun than it could be if it made sense and was efficiently streamlined. Snow lag, of course, always good. Why did, why did the controls seemingly just, like, reverse themselves? What is, what is happening? When I approach the stairs, she just starts walking backwards. And now she just warped up the stairs. And now the stairs are loading incorrectly again. I'm not sure that we need the walkthrough just yet. I'm just trying to address. Somebody really went all out. Like Neko seemed to think that we would have another tool around here that we could use to potentially make further progress on this puzzle currently. And while I think we probably can find another shank somewhere to enable something else to be done with the cart, I don't think it's here. I think it is probably somewhere else. It's the same interaction point. Uh, I mean, it's not like in the car, is it? It's like possible I missed that, but I don't think that I did. Oh. Oops. I mean, I would argue that like that hotspot should be, like, self-sufficient if you're gonna make it, like, a critical item that the camera doesn't naturally look at when... but, you know, sure. Um... <clears throat> question is... Alright, let's, let's try something like... Uh, 
Um, there, I think I want that. And then, like, so if we start at fifty. We want like seven. Like, let's try. Um. Five? Nothing. I must have forgotten something. I must have forgotten something. Controls are like look at just look at how seamlessly these controls operate. So it doesn't seem like it wants to let me do the thing I want to do. And I'm not entirely clear on why. I mean, there's definitely, like, clues to this, but, like, I don't really understand... Like, they're not presented in a very logical fashion. Like, there... So there's a map, and it shows different combinations of numbers, which are clearly, like, something on this gauge. But, like, there aren't clear reference points to know what, like, 5 or 15... Like, it's not indicating that they're starting from the starting point. It's not entirely clear where on the map the starting point is. I think I know, but I think I know a lot of things about this game that I am not correct about. I mean, with two shanks you can sort of just do this piecemeal, right? So like... I mean, I don't know what I expect this to do exactly, but we can try it. Well, right, but when you start dealing with numbers, if logic isn't involved, things get very complicated. I really hate the way this interacts. Like, the thing is, there's just, there's no... Oh, wait a minute, that's weird. It just, like, ran out of... No, it didn't. Did it? Kind of seems like it did. No, it's just, like, not rendering properly. I mean, like, sure, I can, like, jam the sticks in 25 and 15. Yeah, like, now it's just, like, straight up not rendering properly. Which makes it even more difficult to try and solve the puzzle. Which is good. You know, without a challenge, I mean, where would not we be? So, like, sure, I can just do that. But, like, it just doesn't, like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it's much more interesting if the game presents, like, a, oh... So, like, the gears work in this way where, like, 
Like, it just doesn't make any sense for it to, like... I should just be able to set a single number. I shouldn't need to, like, jam... Like, there's, there's no logical justification for needing to do this with two different units. I don't care, like, what numbers it gives me. Like, that just doesn't make any logical sense. So, like, I naturally assume, based on that, that there's, like, some deeper layer to this than just, like, use numbers that it gave me. So, like, I'm just trying to, like, figure out how the puzzle works. Like, I know that the... Like, I, I have looked at the thing. I understand there are numbers. This puzzle is not constructed in such a way that it makes sense for me to just plug them in. Just, just, just launch the darn ride already. And render the arrow properly. And tuck in your shirt! I mean... I, I like the world of Siberia, and this setting that we're in now is the closest thing we've seen to something, like, sufficiently similar to the feel of the other games that it's actually interesting to read. But, like, in terms of, like, logical puzzles, this is probably, like, the bottom five adventure games I've ever played. So, like, the thing I don't get is, like, does it want me to, like, rewind the thing because i don't think i could do that but like that seems like what this puzzle should be like it feels to me like this puzzle should be like i don't have enough energy to get to the place that i want to go so i need to stop it at the right place and crank it up again so that i will stop at the exact correct place that would be like the logical thing to do with the puzzle that we've established here now granted this game has not been terribly logical thus far But still, like, the game just does not present me with clear parameters for what it is I'm trying to do. Sure, you just plug in the numbers and it works. Great, what a good puzzle. I would disagree with that assessment. Nothing that I've done so far indicates that I rewind anything. Feels like I should be able to take that fire extinguisher, but sure, we'll just jump down a hole. Why not just jump down a hole, I ask? I think the problem is that I continue to assume that at some point there's going to be a good puzzle and keep trying to give every puzzle the benefit of the doubt and treating it as I would a puzzle in any, like, properly created game. And they are consistently Siberia 3 puzzles. Alright, so, like, one of these robots better have the Oscar key. Where I may or may not have to choke an automaton. I found some stairs, I guess. Oh, good, I'm on the other side of the nightmare hallway. The park must be behind there. No, I can already get into the park. Stop making dumb observations. What is this spooky place? What? Is this like an actual... Why does this need to be... Like... A sweeping move... Like, what is this? What is happening right now? If it's a map, just show me a map! What is this? What's with the camera? There's a button on the wall that I guess I can't operate. What am I looking at? Uh... I mean, I can't item it. So, like, what? Why? Oh my god, you guys, we found the end of, uh, Indigo Prophecy. The zone is more or less safe. Oh my god. It's just like a Geiger counter here for, like, no reason at all. And all I can do is look at it and be like, yep, Geiger counter. There's clearly, like, someone living here. A real girly girl's room. Uh, my controller's going to die soon. That's cool. 
a photo album. Tempting. Okay. Seems like a weird thing to just take, but why not? Uh, observe. Good. Wait. Papa and Mama at the Nadask Kalhaz. Love you so much. The uniform they gave me after the declaration of the war. The look on Comrade Quartermaster's... The guy whose name is Quartermaster? On Comrade Quartermaster's face when he had to find my size. So this guy has an abnormal height or weight or something. Mobilized at the same time, but not in the same regiment. When I think about the time Comrade Lieutenant almost caught us at one of our nighttime get togethers, I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to be getting from this. Moscow Olympics, after just one year at the front, gold medals for both of us. What? They're Olympic athletes or soldiers? Pick one. Uh, good lord. I cannot translate this. Oh, it's at the bottom? No, I can't. Or maybe it's the next page? That beautiful Andriuchka. Uh, just like... Uh, the amusement park, our first day of work. Amusement park, just after it happened. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not exactly how radiation works either. I don't think this game knows what radiation is. Or even how to say the word radiation. Rest in peace. Okay. My flea bag with spares. You're all I have left now. So, she's got some sort of Wally dog monster. First runner-up in the 1979 Now Dusk Oblast Beauty Contest. Not bad. Finally found it. My photo of the Now Dusk Oblast Beauty Contest. Best day of my life. First runner-up. And I met the guy who died. It's not a very good photo. It seems to be of pretty much nothing. And that's all the TV there is. Okay. My Andre. So that's the same photo that's in the album, so that's redundant. Uh, what? Why is this an option? Why can't I just stand here and look at the closed cabinet and not... Oh, I can... I can try to break into it, I guess. With what, knife? Impossible. Not a chance. Was it scarf? Doesn't I bet it's scarf. Work. Nothing. I'm just I'm just That's rubbing the right. inventory on it, because no this game has no Let's rhyme or reason, so, else. you know. No way. I mean, okay. So I guess at some point I come here with the key, or when I leave I meet the person. Or maybe it's over here, somewhere. I'm pretty sure that's Grandfather Clock's voice. I'm sure this isn't how radio works either. God, I sure hope I don't have to listen to that whole however long that is. She's got a lot of medals. Uh, so it doesn't seem like the key is over here, or that there's anything I can interact with at all. Not with the medals, or these, like, jackets over here. Not so much. Uh, there's sort of, like, a battery thing hooked up to the radio, but it doesn't look like I could get close enough to it to do anything, even if I wanted to. Um... 
Wait, did I already look at whatever A this is? A real girly girl's room. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, okay, that seems to be everything inside. Huh? Who are you? And what on earth are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. Excuse me. So you're the tramp that decided to use my cart? I had to go all the way up the track with the game I caught on my back because of you. I have several questions about that. You don't have any game with you. If it takes that long, you couldn't possibly hey, have gotten here already. Because I only just recently took the cart. Uh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm accompanying this tribe, and we're trying to leave the park. I thought that that old cart was abandoned, and that I could use it. I never thought I'd do any harm. Hmm. Should have looked around a bit first, though. It ain't abandoned for everybody. <laughs> a, that's a weird way to say that. B, how would she not notice an entire tribe of weird yukul mutants in <laughs> the park? Don't that beat all. Like, there's just no way she wouldn't be aware that there are people Leave around. You while you good boy. Mama will have you up and running. And I agree time. with you, Haggis. So far, we have yet to see a person who isn't Kate Walker. Oh, What's she has the, the thing I need! For activating the park automatons, you need to give them a good turn of the key every so often, or the poor things get all neurasthenic. Even cantankerous. Plus, they break down. There. Um, let's do the listen. That key is exactly what I need to repair Oscar. I need it. Fast. Quick. If you have nothing more to say, I won't keep you. Why not? Someone like her, I might be better off earning her trust before I ask for the key. I mean, she doesn't like me, so I feel like, yeah. Listen, I didn't really want to get off on the wrong foot with you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm accompanying the Yukul tribe on their mind. You may have seen them. Lands. They're not human. And you're... Oh, an American. Yeah, yeah, I'd bet anything. Well, well, look at that. An American. Is your stomach <laughs> under her coat? <laughs> well, or is that I'm her breast? Well, Sergeant Katerina hmm. Viktorovna Drostolova. Gold medalist in the shot foot in the Moscow Olympics. I think that's breasts. And the widow of Lieutenant Andrei Grigorovich Drostolov. Veteran artillery officer and figure skating champion. Ah, figure skating. Delighted to meet you, Katarina. It seems you might be just the person I'm looking for. Do you think you could let me borrow that strange key of yours? I needed to repair an automaton without whom, I'm afraid, it is impossible for us to leave. You've been really polite and you speak the same way they talk in those books, little lady. You do have a bit of backbone, I'll say that much for you. This uh -oh. key is extremely precious to me. As far as I ran know, out of time, gnomes and you might just you have be to read one quickly. of the bandits that hang around here. Scrap dealers looking in every nook and cranny for a pot of gold, despite the radiation around. Who is here. doing that? That sounds insane. I saw those riffraff off with a load of buckshot. She was gonna do that. I assume she would have done that. Wait a minute. This seems like a terrible... Why would this be the blinking... I should try to use the information I found in her <clears throat> photo album to get her on my side. This Russian lady was hey, old Mr. Wilson all along, you. trying to scare us away from the mansion's treasure. I mean, I'm gonna... Because the game has trained me that this is the thing to do, I'm going to talk about the photo album. But to be clear, that's a terrible idea. Say, I won't keep you. Because that's like... Hey, so I was rifling through your stuff, and I saw some really personal information. Can we talk about that? So you're the Katerina Drozdolova? First runner-up in the still have her photo contest in 1979? <laughs> yes, indeed, that was me. And that was also when I met my Andre. To be perfectly honest, I thought that somebody from the West could only possibly know me for what I did in athletics instead. Now that I know who you are, I don't dare ask for your key. I would never want to inconvenience someone of your standing like that. Stop, stop. Classy women don't fuss over each other. <laughs> Tell me exactly why you need my key, and I'll see what I can do for you. I have to get a park automaton back in working condition so I can pull our boat higher up onto the beach so the ostrich herd in the hold can get yeah, out. Yeah, now that I'm saying this out loud, the this is, and their herd have to this is ridiculous. The Yukuls and their herd have to continue their sacred migration as soon as possible, 
What's more, the longer we're stuck here, the more likely it is that we'll be caught and arrested by the soldiers who are after us. Why would you say that to someone mm. in the military? If I say yes, you promise you'll bring it back to me as soon as you've finished? Of course. I would never betray the trust of the great Katerina Drozdolova. Okay then, I agree. Take good care of it. For 20 years now, it's let me keep my bag of mechanical fleas running. Seems like a weird way to describe that. 20 years? I thought all the survivors left after the catastrophe. But it was already too late for him, unfortunately. Whoa. Your husband was contaminated. What happened there? Both of us did, actually. But it didn't do anything to me. That's just the way I was made. Or maybe I was immune because of all the garbage they kept giving me for years so that I could win that trinket at the Olympics. And since then, you've never tried to get well, to Well, we skipped Alzheimer's. most of her backstory for reasons no. unknown. I heard but it was too late for him. Survivors were sent to this clinic there and they never get out. Besides, I have absolutely... Right, I guess? Jeez. Somewhere to call home. I'm near my dear Andreusha. I have my dog and all the game I want. Can we get another shot of One the game? Because it looks horrifying. You said the air in the subway stayed pure. Does it lead out of the city? Yes. Just follow the tracks right behind my place and you can get out to the other side of Baranor through the Olympia Stadium station at the end of the line. That's the terminus. Not only do you avoid the radiation, but you also have electricity. It's one of the only circuits in the city that's still working. You just have to be careful. Some of the pipes gave way and flooded some galleries with lake water. Thank you, Katarina, for everything. So, what do we do now? Also, can can we get can we get a good look? Camera's not cooperating. So, so this appears to be some enormous two-headed boar or something. I'm not crazy, right? Like it's huge. How am I not taking this with me? Yeah, you, you don't need to be immune if you could just see it with magic goggles and walk around it. Is the game part cheesy? Never played part cheesy. Uh, you know, since I don't know the rules of part cheesy, it's it's probably similar to this. Yeah, I would think so. So she's she's just never gonna know about the fact that we just stole her photo album, right? Okay, so am I supposed to use the cart to get back? Or is this hallway, like, magically cleared up now? I mean, I, I guess I used the cart to get back. But she's mad about... Oh god, don't, don't, don't do it. Gotta put them goggles on! So we can walk around the radiation. Because it totally works like that. Well, originally my thought was that I would try and get the boat ashore so we could let the ostriches out, and then we would leave it there. But of course, the game detoured really hard into some nonsense, which we've been at for about an hour. Um, and I think that if we can get Oscar running, we will... We will call it after whatever cutscene that generates. I love that not only does it take a really long time to load everything, but there's also these really huge, like, loading spikes. And by the way, how does she ever get back here with, like, one shank that was in the car? ever have a quote list that needs to be in it which, which quote maybe the game should be something with simple rules like buckaroo what is buckaroo oh good the yukles are here the phrase that can never be said in earnest what news kate walker let me solve hmm. the puzzle you, you monster like me skate walker have time for much fun i hate these people oh pop-up pirate it's a great one uh, I'm just gonna ignore that because they're awful and I don't care about their opinion. So we'll take the subway line. 
the air is pure, and the station at the end of the line lets us leave the city while staying on the sacred route of the migration. Where does the station exit to? Some kind of sports complex. Olympia or something like that. Olympia. Land of Martyrs. Papa Pirate appears in Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 0. Good work, Kate Walker. I also I don't know own what it. The Yukos would do without your help. It's known for giving children First, we black have to eyes. Push the crystal onto the beach. How can we help you, Kate Walker? Well, your ostriches obviously can't use the cart to get to the subway line. Can the Yukos clear the rubble from the station entrance while I take care of the crystal? Go find volunteers. <laughs> See you later, Miss Kate Walker. I hope that in the end the ostriches eat them. Uh, the root Once of migration. we left Baranur, what is the next step? The river Balaton. Once we cross the sacred bridge over it, we'll be past the border and in Yakistan. Our pursuers won't be able to harm us there. Care to explain why? Olympia. Ayahuasca didn't seem to like that. The truth is, I was told that the previous migration went through some bad times. A tragedy that left permanent scars. But you have enough to do for the moment. Wait, we'll talk about he all was that told later. that the previous migration encountered difficulties? He wasn't on the previous migration? If not, how is he their guide? How can he know the route if he's never done it before? That doesn't seem to make sense. Any news from the Yukels who are still locked up in the crystal? Everyone is fine, even if the ostriches are getting impatient. We have to get them out soon, Kate Walker. I don't know. I'm going Starving home. them to death I does to sound suitable. Hey, look, it's one of the only times this game has ever correctly signaled. And it was for something I've been trying to do for two hours and don't need someone to tell me about! And yes, Arcadius, Jenga always counts. Slowly loading. Yeah, and I know I have to end the stream soon because I've run out of 100% juice apple. Oh, is that what that is? I was not paying attention to that detail. But that makes some almost zero amount of sense. But not quite zero. A barely non-zero amount of sense. Oh, these loading screens make me want to die. And we're here. And lag spike? Hit me with the lag spike. You know you want to. There it is. Found the lag spike. Great. All right. Here's Oscar friend corpse. Oh my god. We finally got here. I have to zoom in on it? Great, what a good feature of this game. It's definitely necessary and not at all stupid and a waste of my time. How many spins does it need? Did we do it? Oscar, I, I, let I him can't talk first. It. Kate Walker. Hello, Kate Walker. So is everything set? Are we ready to go now? You have refitted the train spring, haven't you? And what about Mr. Hans Vorlberg? Is he on board? There's oh my no god, they recast Oscar. his voice? That's and horrible! No Hans Vorlberg. I beg your pardon? You were supposed to be dead, too. I installed your heart in another model just like you. Oh, that's so that annoying. Seems to have worked. I can't tell you how it's mad I am that after down. all of that, they recast his voice. That's that's so upsetting to me. Oh, oh. Are you all right, Oscar? I I suppose I am indeed, Kate Walker. 
To the best of my knowledge, I have not been programmed for anguish. For a second, I thought he was going to take over with but his correct no, voice, but no. You were always very talented. This new body is in great need of maintenance. It is suffering from osteoarthritic rust at every joint. Oscar, I need your help. Of course, I'm just going to ignore the fact that, that you are function. basically dead. That's also not his function. Uh, go into detail or summarize? Let's go into detail. Hopefully Kate there Walker. will be some comedic value. Well, can I listen to the options? No, I can't. I'm accompanying the Yukels on their voyage. You know, they found me when I was dying next to a river in the west of Siberia and took Still me in. Still haven't really addressed they why or how that happened. They of the snow ostriches to their sacred lands, where they go and reproduce. Now we're being chased by fanatical soldiers who want to send the Yukels back to where they came from. To top it off, they want to hand me over to the American authorities. I've been accused of all sorts of crimes. I've been accused of all the, the crimes. Yukos, a primitive nomadic people in the far north that live symbiotically with large herds of Struthio nivis, commonly known as snow ostriches. That's that in no way the most important feature of the Yukos. Kate Walker, American deviant, intellectually and politically unstable, influenced by both circumstance and encounters, despite possessing an unquestionable moral fiber. Uh, I suppose that's about right, in a word. Well, how may I be of service to Why you? Why is he, like, Walker? accessing a database We're or something? We're stuck here in this contaminated area, and we need to leave as soon as possible does he to not escape know who the people you chasing are? us. God, that's so annoying. But the Yukels and their herd are locked in the boat that brought us to this poisoned beach. We need to hoist the crystal out of the sand and clear the rear hatch so the ostriches can get out. There's a vehicle on the pier over there that I think we can use, but it looks like only an automaton can drive it. I will gladly do what I can to help you, as long as this worn-out body should prove up to the task. Uh, we'll make do, Oscar. You can trust There's me. A massive clockwork well, I data indeed do what I, can I mean, I'm more annoyed about work. the fact, like, he, like, consulted a database what? to figure what? out who Kate Walker, Kate Walker was. My clothes. I don't have any clothes. Oh my god, he didn't have any clothes before. Come on, what's the problem, Oscar? In New York, I saw fashion shows where you would have made a splash. No, 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 and no, Kate Walker. It is completely out of the question for me to stroll around without cover. My mechanical intimacy is protected by industrial patents that ensure the durability of Boral Burr productions. I need clothing, that's all there is to it. Oscar, please. Do not insist, Kate Walker. I will not move from here without decent attire. All right, all right. I'll get you some this clothes. It was like literally the worst. All right. Well, that that's definitely the absolute limit of what I can tolerate. Uh, so that's that's going to be the end of the stream for today. Uh, that 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 is a whole. Oh man, I can't tell you like when it <laughs> when it was possible that we were going to have Oscar back. I was like, all right. Oscar was probably the best character of the previous games. So once we have Oscar back, maybe things will improve. Uh, we've recast Oscar. He doesn't act like Oscar or speak like Oscar, like just in terms of his word choice. Uh, it's insane that he would complain about not having clothing because he never had clothing before. And he should be complaining about the fact that he's set to a task that isn't driving a giant clockwork train. Because he previously insisted that, that was the only thing that he could do, and ever going outside of the train was basically more than you could ask him to do. None of this makes any sense. Uh, he uh, he was a he was an automaton to begin with. He's an automaton who we opened up so that dying Hans Vorlberg could wear him as a suit of armor to keep him alive long enough to meet the mammoths. Uh, he definitely doesn't need clothes. None of this makes sense. I'm really I'm like actually offended by the fact that they've bothered to make this game and bring back Oscar from the dead in order to have him be a completely different character who isn't fun at all. Because, like, Oscar used to be fun in his weird, like, robotic sense of, uh, like, interpretation. Like, he just had a really robotic way of thinking and of speaking that was really fun and interesting. Uh, it was a little bit cliched, but, like, it gave some levity to the game that this game demonstrates the series really badly needs. And, man, it just sucks that they've recast him and changed him in basically every possible way. And yeah, the Yukels still suck and are terrible. And I also agree with Neko's point 
that if the only purpose of the migration is so that the stupid snow ostriches can breed, then we should just leave them locked up in the ship and live in the steam park forever. Uh, but that rant aside, your Tom Tom body is wearing metal clothes. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's as much clothes as he's ever had, so it doesn't make any sense for him to want more clothes now. Maybe when Meteor comes down to destroy Siberia, the robot can fly up and destroy it. Uh, yeah, you know, I wouldn't rule that out. At this point, literally anything seems possible. But, uh, I, I, I think, I think that rant will suffice for now. Uh, we could pick up with the absurd quest of trying to clothe our resurrected robot friend who doesn't seem to care about the fact that he and the one person he cared most about in the world, uh, have been dead until he was just reactivated. Uh, and once we get him some pants, I, I don't know, maybe we move the boat... But that seems unlikely. Man, that's just... That's tough. That's that's really rough. Uh, thank you guys for coming out and watching. It's been another long one. Uh, someday perhaps we will finish this. It seems increasingly unlikely that we will make it to the end of this game because it is an exercise in insanity. Uh, but we did fend off the Kraken and... I think we've done almost everything we can actually moving the boat. Uh, oh, we do have a scarf. Oh my god. Is that is that really... Is that the thing? So, like... It's incredible can... seeing him alive again. It's not even him. What a oh, weird... Kate Walker. Have you found some clothes for me? Uh... These seem to pertain to the clothes, so I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm going to look for some clothes for you again. See you later, Oscar. Please be quick about it. My gears are freezing. Oh God, I just, I can't. I hate so much what they have done with this. It's so bad. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next time we will pick up here, on this beach trying to clothe our robot friend who can't stand being naked which makes about as much sense as any other puzzle we've encountered in this game so i don't know why i'm still surprised by it uh thank you all for coming out uh for enduring this game for as long as you have hopefully you've enjoyed some aspect of what we've been able to accomplish here today and will perhaps even consider joining me next saturday at the same time when we will do that thing i said with robot and clothes and maybe getting to an olympic stadium and Frankly, I don't know how much longer this game can be, uh, considering how much artificial length it's employed. But uh, I've had as much fun as I can have, and it's mostly thanks to you guys and your support. So thank you very much. I have been Captain Vasco to Gamer. This has been yet another installment of Siberia 3, Quest Into the Abyss. And uh, yeah, next time, more of those things I said. Uh, please follow me on Twitter at Vasco to Gamer. And uh, check out the Renegade Constabulary Facebook page, The Constabulary, uh, for updates on anything. Uh, and yeah, I think we're I think we're probably looking to move forward. Probably doing short live streams uh, Wednesdays around 4:30 Pacific as well. So uh, I don't know if that time slot will be the same forever, but probably at least for the month. Um, again, look for updates on Twitter and Facebook. Have a great night and a great week until I see you next. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys. As always, it's been a pleasure.